Ladies and gentlemen, you're all very welcome to Echelon Park in Ockram for the first final of our Feast of Football this weekend here in Ockram. It's uh, the Junior A Football Final, the Fitzgerald Kitchens Junior A Football Final between Ockram and Shalala Coolboy. A fantastic day. The weather is staying very good here. As, as always, a slight breeze into the town goal. But Podge, I, I think you remarked a little bit earlier, I'm not going to take your line, but I haven't seen Ockram looking as well in a long, long time. Yes, yeah, the first thing I noticed when I came in, actually, I looked down on to the pitch and, and that was my automatic reaction I said God the pitch looks well you know I have never seen a line li lined out as well as this and I just checked the wind there as well it, it, like you say I mean it's, it's the normal wind here in Ockram you know blown down into the town ends and like clear blue skies and whatever like you know I think it's going to add to the occasion here today so it is it's I think this is going to be a cracker. Yeah, both teams out on the field now just putting the, doing their warm-up there. Shalala Coolboy out a uh, good bit earlier than Ockram, it has to be said. Uh, I know both teams will have a well-planned what yeah. their, their thing is. Ockram not long out on the field. They might have done a little bit more more work on the AstroTurf probably. But or maybe at home either, you know, yeah, like and, and yeah. walk up after or whatever, like, you know. It's yeah, they could have done, but uh, it's all very relaxed at the minute. The crowd is pouring in. We went on our travels during the week. Uh, we got out and about to, to speak to some of the management teams uh, First up, we have Kevin Morris from Ockram, and we'll thank him beforehand for taking his time out. Uh, we'll, let's hear what he had to say in the build-up to this one. Kevin, thanks a million for taking your time out. A very busy week for you. A uh, big final coming up on Sunday for Ockram. I suppose uh, when the draw was made, it looked like you were put in the toughest group, and it probably proved so. Uh, some cracking games in. I got to see a good few of them, to be fair. But uh, found your way through a, a really good win against Shalala Coolboy, a real battle against uh, Rat New then, and, and a, a tight game against Ashford. You probably went down in, but you know, it was the kind of group that probably steeled you for the knockout stages, in fairness, especially with such a. It's a well balanced team, but with a lot of young lads as well. Yeah, look, I think it's it's great experience for all the young lads. You know, I think we have four or five lads there that are playing their first year of senior football, first year of adult football, so it's been great for them. Um, yeah, as you said, it was a tough, tough group, um, and we knew it would be. You know, there were a lot of one-score games in, in the group. We knew there would be, and um, we were delighted to get out of the group. And, you know, I suppose when, it, when groups are groups, like, you know, getting the knockouts then, and it's when, that's when it really starts. So whether you finish first in the group or whether you finish fourth in the group, you know, it's all about when knockout football is a different ball game and you know look we're delighted to be in the final um, and yeah we're really looking forward to it and I'm sure Shalala Coolboy are the same you know um, both teams got the league finals um, both teams will be promoted in the league so you know there was a kick of the ball at the last day and you know conditions out there it's another way evening this evening I'm sure it'll be a, a tough game Saturday um, probably not going to be ideal conditions for either team um, and sure, look, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it and we, we expect, you know, one hell, of a, one hell of a game and a very, very close game, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I suppose, you know, onto the knockout stages, you had, had a good win in the quarter final then and it set you up for what was a lot of people's favourites, I suppose, in the semi-final in Kilmack, but I was down at that match and co we covered it. What really stood out to me was, you know, for, for, uh, applauded to yourself and the whole team was your organisation on the day. You know, you were coming up against what was probably one of the stronger teams that put up big scores all year. But your organisation from 1 to 18, 19, whoever came on was, was spot on. And look, in the build-up as well, you lost own as well with a broken ankle full-back, which would have been a blow. But, you know, the lads never blinked and just went about their work. And I thought it was something, you know, for a, so many young lads, I thought it was a really, really good uh, sign of character. Yeah, look, Owen's a massive loss to us, you know, and he's he's a huge part of the club in Ockram. You know, he's with underage teams and, you know, he's been unluck unlucky with cruciate injuries in the last few years as well. I think this is the first time in three years he'd played at all, you know. Um, and when he went down in training, you know, you could just see that kind of... It was just heartbreaking for everybody to see a man going down like that, you know, and especially in the timing of the year and, you know, what he's missing out on, you know. Um, and look, we were unlucky. We lost Dylan for the semi-final as well, and I know he's been, you know, a, a crucial part of it as well. And he's a county hurler, and you know, lo losing the two lads was a big loss to us. And I suppose all year we, we've had that, you know, like we, we were very unlucky to lose Connor Lambert in the manner in which we lost him as well, you know. And Connor's been around in a long time, and you know, Ockram haven't been in the final since 2014, and in 2014 Connor Lambert would have been on the team, and you know, 10 years is a long time to be going around in a club and, and putting your heart and soul into it and not being able to play either, you know. Um, from the Kilmack game perspective, you know, I suppose, you know, we were delighted defensively. Um, 
you know, conceding the four points is really, really good. It gives you a great chance in any game, you know. Um, and, you know, we've, we, we've lots of young lads, but we've some a lot of experience around them as well, you know. Likes of Conor Phelan, Conor uh, Lambert, as I said, Robert Lambert, Mick Brennan, Dean Newsom, you know, all these lads who've been there for the last decade. And um, it's a great occasion for them too to get back to a county final. And, you know, look, all we can hope for is that we give it our best shot and with no regrets and big performance. Yeah, and looking forward to that, look, you know, Shalala cool boy, you know what to bring to the table. They're a good, solid outfit to get their scores every day. You know, a cracking game with yourself and, and them in, in Tinnahealy earlier in the year, two points in it. But, you know, they, they got their 17 points and you still edged it out. like. Yes. So you know what's coming down the track as well. But as I said, you know, all you can hope for is, is for everyone to turn up and have a right good crack at it. And, and that's what county finals are about. Well, that's it, like, and, you know, and, and bringing our performance, and if we empty the tank, and if it's not good enough, it's not good enough. Um, but look, I suppose every team will have plans, and every team will have set-ups, and, you know, it all comes down on the hour, and, and just giving it your best shot. As you said, Shalala Kubai are a very, very good team, you know, they're in the final for the second year running. I think they've had two promotions in a row in the league. Um, I know a lot of them through, more so hurling than football, I would have had a lot of them hurling for me in the school over the last few years. Um, and I know they've lots of talent as well. So, I suppose the way to look at it is it's, um, you know, we've proved to be the best two teams in the competition and, you know, we're going head to head Saturday afternoon and sure, whoever comes out on top may the best team win. And that's it. And thanks a million again for taking your time out this week and the very best of luck at the weekend. Thanks very much, Emma. Thanks a million. Cheers. Bye. Thanks again, Kevin, for that uh, interview. And next up uh, on Wednesday night, uh, Garrett Gregan made the trip to uh, Echelon Park in Ockram. I'd like to thank him for that to come and give his views. He's a selector with Shalala Colby, and we'll hear what he had to say there now. Uh, Garrett, thanks a million for taking your time out. Really busy week down Shalala Colby way. Lots of flags out. When you're driving through there, lots of flags out down our end of the county, actually, for, for football weekend. It's really good to see. Um, I suppose we'll go back before we go forward. A, a really tough draw in the group, as it turned out. You know, everyone's prediction was it was going to be seriously tough, and it turned out that way. Um, you know, a good win the first day for you. Then came a cropper a bit against uh, Saturday's opponents, Ockram, in a real cracker down in Tinnahealy. Uh, Ash Ford then a draw as well. We were down at that one and, and uh, covered some of it like it was a real cracking game. But the lads readjusted really well and, and, and came back strong then at the end of the group. Like it was, but it was always going to be that sort of group. It was. Uh, we knew when the, drew, the draw was made here, it was like, oops. <laughs> you know, We knew we were going to be in for a tough year. But looking back now in hindsight, I think ourselves and Ockham are pretty happy with the group that we, we got because we were tested in every way. We were tested for physicality, for fitness, for all different styles of football. So we knew that every game from start to finish was going to be a battle, especially if we had a decent league coming in. So we needed to keep that kind of level going. So in hindsight, yeah, coming up to Saturday, we were kind of we're, we're happy enough with the group actually looking back at it, you know. Um, we seen with the other group, um, like it didn't really work out too well at that, the other side of things, but... I think it's nice to keep lads on their toes and keep the test there, you know. Yeah, and especially it's such a long period of time. I know everyone loved to go on beating all year, and mm. you know, the, there's kind of that. But like, it's such a long period of time yeah. over the course of so many matches that you know a blip is probably not a bad thing at the right time either. Yeah, like we, that was always a kind of a fear in the back of my head. You can peak in May, and what's the point? You know, because you're told from the eight or, age of eight or nine or ten. Championship is everything. Of course, you want to win leagues, you want to win this cup and that cup. But we got a really good league underneath our belts. We learned from it and we got, you know, we had a few lessons in that as well. Then we kind of did kind of mellow out a little bit in the middle. And now we seem to be, you know, catching our stride again at the right time coming into the Yeah, and into the quarter final, then a cracking game against Barton. That's a real test of character, I suppose. Like you say, you know, Group stages, leagues are one thing, but when it comes down to the acid test and to reel off five or six points at the end mm -hmm. of that game against Barton, that was probably a big momentum booster, but a big sign of the character that's in the squad. It's funny, actually, because I remember listening to the one of the podcasts and you, you said about, it wasn't about ourselves, it was about another game. And you said, you made the point that winning by one point is better than winning by ten points. And to be in Barton Glass that day, it wasn't looking good for us for a lot of that game. But testament to them boys, they just never gave up and they reel off scores after scores. And 
probably midway through that second half, we decided, you know, that's the air to be won. And they never gave up. And we, to look at that game, we figured out how we can win from behind, which is very important, you know, as well. And then what happened later on, I suppose, you know. Yeah, and on to a semi-final coming up against Ashford the second time after mm. drawing the first day. In, in probably different circumstances, both he, you, yourselves picking up a few injuries, we'll talk about in a second, yep. and and uh, Ash Ford missing a couple, you know, it was kind of a little bit of shadow boxing, I'll, I'll be a great game down in Nanakura, but really stood up, you know, and, and an emphatic victory in the semi-final mm -hmm. has, has set you up really nicely for Saturday. Yeah, the game in Anacara was, as you say yourself, uh, shadow boxing, like who was going to play for us, who was going to play for them, did it, the result really matter of course the results always matters really but uh, going back to the semi-final just that whole day the lads arrived they were so calm cool and collected and on blew the whistle for the warm-ups and they were like machines and we just knew from the warm-up that day that ash four were going to be in trouble here from that so we won comprehensive that day and you could see the lads coming off the field they were 10 foot tall and they deserved that win because the work you've seen or I've seen put them putting in since I think it was January the 14th or 15th, I was talking to you off camera, the guts of 100 nights have gone into this. So it's, yeah, I was really, really happy for them. I'm very happy with that performance. But defensively attacking, you know, they were, they were really on their game that day, you know. And then looking forward, I suppose you're coming into a, a final against a, a rejuvenated Ockram side mm. under Kevin Morris. They've been very, very good this year. Mm. You know, a huge victory for them against Kilmacanag in the semi-final. Definitely, You yeah. know, they really snuffed out Kilmacanag's threats. They've been scoring all year. You know, for me, I think, look, I think we've three cracking games coming up yeah. the weekend, to oh, be honest. No. I think probably the six best teams, as it stands, are in left in all competitions. But... You know, I think this game between yourselves and Ockram is going to be an absolute cracker. I hope the weather stays good for us as well, but I think it's going to be an absolute baller of a game. Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Evan, because, yeah, first of all, the weather is to be good. And it's, they're two footballing teams. And, like, age profile, skill profile, they're not too dissimilar. Um, I watched them down here against Ken Mack, watched a couple times this year. Like, a lot of respect needs to be given to Ockram. They've been very, very, very good this year. Division three finalists here, a good league run. You know, they, they were played very well against us that day in Tinnahili. They've got some fabulous young footballers and some elder statesmen as well, and particularly one man in goal and mm. things like that. So everything is set up for this to be a crack of a game. So, yeah, really, really excited and looking forward to it, you know. Yeah, and as we were talking, uh, the, the three lads in Ockram have their own injury worries. Mm. Uh, they lost their fullback. Similarly, you've lost uh, the two Foley's and Thomas Clare there yourselves. Yeah. And on them this week as well. It is. Know. It is like the, um, Dara, Dara, unfortunately, has done his ACL as well as Thomas Clare. Um, the boys have gave everything this year. And then the, like, the two Foley's have been there since we started 2018, I think it was, and they're just... They're, they're there that much, they're annoying, <laughs> in the best possible way. But uh, to be, like, I feel so, so bad for them because if anyone deserves their day out, it's, it's the three boys because you know, they've, they've given absolutely everything and there's, there's no trouble, there's no poor me. They're still going to train them, they're still part of the panel and they'll still be here with us on Saturday. You know? so, what they can't give on the field, they'll give it to us off the field without a shadow, without you know. Yeah, and that's all you can ask for. Look again, thanks a million mm -hmm. for taking your time out and, and coming here to have the interview. Is yep. um, the very best of luck on Saturday. Hope everything goes well now, and, and look, we're looking forward to a cracking game again. And thank you very much, Emmett, and keep up the good work. Thanks, <laughs> thank thanks, thank you. Yeah, thanks a million to Garrett there and to both uh, uh, lads for their interviews and a real good insight into what's facing us here today. Podge, we've just uh, heard the teams announce we'll go through them in a minute. Both teams just finishing up, getting ready to uh, go behind the, the pipe band. Real intriguing one here, Podge. Uh, the matchup's going to be key in this, uh, you know, both sides have a real good spread of scoring forwards, really good work rate around the middle third. It's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to come down to fine margins here in this one. Yeah, I think it really will be. Um, both teams were so impressive in their semi-finals. 
like two big wins for both of them, you know, and you're right, the scoring power that both of them have, the likes of Conal O'Brien and Conor Phelan for Ockram and, and then Brendan Bean and, and Conor Byrne and Eddie Cullen, like, and obviously Wayne Kinsley then in the middle, it's what Ockram decide to do there, you know, so it is, it'll, the first five minutes this is going to be really interesting. Yeah, our officials just down the middle of the field, big match referee for the day, Stephen Fagan from Bodden, as he's just getting things ready to roll, Ockram are going into a little huddle before they uh, embark down to get behind the, the Piper uh, already Shalala Cole Boy are just getting in behind we'll give you the teams now looks like number 17 Dara Ross and probably going to start here we'll give you a quick run through the teams as they head down to, to go through the parade it's uh, up on your screen there we'll have Ockram first uh, in goal is Robert Lambert uh, Sam Healy Ian Clancy and Finn Byrne in the full back line Keen Kyo Sean Campbell and Jimmy Wilmington in the half back line Ushie and Keegan and Pierce Lawler in midfield. Shane McGuckie and Connor Phelan and Patrick Licardi in the half hour line. With Connell O'Brien, Alex Kavanagh and Joe McGuckie in, in, in an inside line. Uh, the Shalala Cool Boy team now just coming up on your screen here. Sean Carroll in goal. It's uh, Dara Rawson replaces Killian O'Keefe at cornerback. Aaron Kinsley and Rory O'Brien. Kieran Lambert, PJ Mulhall and Finlay Nolan in the half-back line. Wayne Kinsley and Dan Nolan in midfield. Johnny Smith, Eddie Cullen and Brandon Rossiter in the half-hour line. With Conor Byrne, Cahill Murphy and Brendan Bean in the inside line. Like we said, uh, there's a lot, lot of sorting now in the first few minutes of this one. will be interesting to see who picks up who. And But on both sides, I kind, you kind of think, you know, the really, really good forwards, but the backs are there kind of to match them as well. Like, you know, that full back line now, Darrell Ross and Aaron Kinsley, Rory O'Brien, they're capable of marking anyone. You know, I'm wondering, is there a little bit of an eagle or an injury to Killian O'Keefe? Although he did do the warm up, he would have been a go to man marker as well. So that's a, a, a big call there on the Shalala Cool Boy side, albeit if he's fit, he's still there to use. Yeah, well, Darrell Ross and obviously a very good replacement anyway. If there is an issue uh, with Killian O'Keefe, but yeah, I, I think both teams are going to come into this and I think both of them are going to be full of confidence. Um, like, you know, the, 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 neither of them will feel like they're the underdog in this, to tell you the truth, Emmett. And, like, you know, I think the first five, ten minutes of this and who settles best and whoever gets a good start, it'll be interesting to see who plays with the wind and what the other team do then. Like, and, like they are, there's a lot of things, um, they like to, what to do with Joe McGucky and, you know, and, like, both teams have things that they need to figure out. They do indeed, both teams just embarking now out behind the, the Piper here. This is nervous moments, it's a great place to be on a day like today is behind the band because that means you're playing in a county final but both teams here, it'll be nervous moments. A good few young lads on each team too wouldn't yeah, have probably experienced yeah. this although at under 19 or under 17 level some of them would and last year of course the bulk of the Shalala Cool Boy team would have been here against Balanacor in that final as well. Um, you know, will that stand to him or will it be something that might haunt him a little bit? That's to be seen over the next few minutes, I suppose. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine that should really drive them on. Mm -hmm. And then obviously you've Eddie Cullen and Conor Byrne are two big additions to come in there, coming straight out on underage football. So I think that'll be the motivation for Slayla Kulbai is to go one stage further than they did or one step further than they did last year. And I have to say as well, two first teams in this final as well, Podge. It's great to see it. What a crowd we have here. There's a, a real good crowd. The day, of course, is always a help, but there's a right good crowd after gathering here in Ockram, particularly underneath us here in the press box. Yeah, and plenty of neutrals. I'm just looking at the people going in. I see Avoca jerseys. I see Tinny Healy gear. I see everything, you know. it's it's. Uh, I see Lara gear, you know. So it, it's a game that people wanted to come and watch. It is indeed, yeah. We're just finishing off they're coming across the 45 at the Herbst end here I didn't see the toss being done yet yeah uh, it was done but was uh, done. I, I, we I'm not sure which way teams yeah. are playing we haven't seen anyone running to either goal with footballs around to give us an idea and like we said the, the Ockram team being led across the field by the youngsters with the flag similarly the Shalala Cole boy it's a great moment for all here, big moments, and there's a big hour coming up for these two teams to see who can find their way into the Intermediate Championship uh, next year, where both will feel they belong. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and just on this game, like, uh, and I know we've said it a couple of times, the fact that Shalal could buy were here last year, I think that'll help them settle anyway, you know, because they've experienced this, so it'll be interesting to see how Ockram deal with that. Yeah, the Piper just comes up in front of us here now, and... A huge round of applause from the crowd down there, appreciating what these sets of lads are going to do. You see Shane McGuckian is wearing number 10, whether he plays there or not. I think the last day he moved back and played wing back and 
Jimmy Wilmington actually played wing forward. And yeah, I know, kind of I know they've positions, played, they yeah. do, yeah, they've played both. And actually, I think Jimmy's got a goal in the quarter final and the semi final, yeah, so, so he like wanted to, to go for three in a row. He liked to finish the job, so. Yeah. Yeah, there they go. So we, we won't have a, a national anthem in this one. It'll be pretty much ready to rock and roll once the two teams finish their parade here. As we said, big moments on both sides. It's, you know, like for two lads like Wayne Kinson and Connor Phelan now as well, this is a huge yeah. day, both men on dead balls. Um, you know, finals this time of year can come down to that as well. And it's... It's a big, big day for the two of the more experienced lads as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, whoever takes their chances best in this is what could decide it. Yeah, I think. I think the lads are going to. Uh, I think the lads are expecting a national anthem, but I don't think we're going to have one because there's only one allowed a day, as we were told before. So, and I said I'd like to know who's counting them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, it looks like both teams are getting ready for one. The yeah. boy lads have come in front of their dugout, and all yeah. have gone to the 45. So, so someone needs to tell somebody them. Somebody needs to tell yeah. them they yeah. can get into their positions. Unless they in. use it in the junior A, but they won't be having one for the end of the draft. There's no. Yeah. yeah, someone needs to to give the shout because I don't think our officials actually. No, there's not either. Yeah, our officials are getting ready for it as well. We have enough lads in the middle dugout down here at this stage. One of them could make the call. Yeah, yeah there's no. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's coming. Yeah. News is filtering through from the middle dugout to the middle of the field here. That there's going to be no. Did you text uh, down to the man at the yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have to at this stage, but. Yeah. Yeah, the umpires are making their way. Again, both teams just having a quick chat and a quick huddle. There's a. Another big huddle for Shalala Cole Boy going on. We're just about ready to rock and roll here. We're just a minute over the half one here now as it stands. And big moments here coming up in this one. It looks like Ockram are going to defend the Herbst end and play with the wind in the first half. Sean Carroll makes his way down into the, the town goal here. Both teams are kind of waiting to see who goes where. Yeah. Apology, I think by the looks of it, the, the eyeballing has already started here. Referee calls for a ball. Johnny Smith will go wing forward on Keen Kyo. Brandon Rossiter looks to be going into an inside line by me. Eddie Cullen is on the 40. Cahill Murphy looks to be coming out to wing forward for Shalala Cole Boy. Um, Dan Nolan has gone in. But this could be just for the throw up. Yeah. Dan Nolan, Cahill Murphy coming out to the middle yeah. for the throw up. Connor Byrne in a corner forward. Brandon Rossiter, the other corner. Eddie Cullen now has gone into the edge of the square to be picked up by Finn Byrne. It's all changes. Yeah, Ush said. yeah Ushin Keegan gone centre back and Sean Campbell gone midfield. But that's the way they played the last day in the semi final as well. It is so. We're just about ready to rock and roll. The Junior A football final, the Fitzgerald's Kitchens Junior A football final is about to get underway here in Ockram. Stephen Fagan, our referee, casts a quick look around to make sure everyone's in their positions. He seems to be happy enough. He tells the two lads to go back to the 45 and Connor feeling similarly he checks his watches we're ready to go here it's Ockram and Shalala Cole boy to see who can be victorious in the Junior A football final for 2024 the ball is in the game is on the clock is on Cahill Murphy touches the ball down to Wayne Kinsta Kinsta is tackled but there's a foul inside already referee very alert there to a first foul on Eddie Cullen inside by Finn Byrne must have been a pull on a jersey there, and that's a big call early. Yeah, it surely is. Like, a, um, I'm well spotted by Stephen well Fagan. Well spotted indeed. But, but I've seen him doing that a good few yeah. times. You know, that's it. But that's really good. Like, you know, yeah. that if if you've a lad pulling off the ball, and like to tell you the truth, well, is it really necessary? If, is it necessary? But it's something you probably do in the early minutes of a match. I mean, from the and back, you normally get away, and, with it, yeah. and you get away here. And like, if you're if you're a back anywhere on the field, now you're going well. Yeah, I can't be at that. So it's and a I wouldn't big mind Doctor had actually turned it over. Wayne Kinsley kicks, oh, he's drilled this one to the left and wide. A first big chance there, just never quite caught hold of it. It's gone to the left and wide, 48 seconds gone here. It's a nil-nil still, but a big start for Shalala Colboy. Nothing to show at the end of it. Robert Lambert places the ball, he'll take the kick out. Uh, Ockram now, this will be their first real play of the game. They haven't really got hands on the ball. Lambert kicks long down the middle of the field. Huge kick by him, looking for Connor Field. Feeling is knocked away from us, a push in the back. Says the referee, it was picked up by Sean Campbell. Uh, Joe McGuckey and takes a quick and lashes the ball inside as far as Alex Kavanagh Kadzma drops the shoulder top of the D kicks this one away and it's gone away off the right of his boot and just nerves here in the early moments of this one Podge the two chances from two really good ball strikers there but just snatched that both of them yeah 
yeah, you could yeah, see um, when Joe McGuckin got the ball with the free and he was looking for Alex Kavanagh straight away. Um, it'd be interesting to see if Alex plays that close to goal because he has, hasn't done in the last couple of matches. Yeah, Dara Rawson is set to pick him up. Ockram push right up on the kick out. Sean Carroll will take this one. Goes long out underneath the stand. A huge ball hangs in the Ockram sky. Breaks in the middle of the field. Connor Finn gets hands out. Joe McGuckin gets a touch and gets it into a, his midfield man. Oshin Keegan away. Come Ockram down the field with Keegan. Checks his run. Solos and has the, this Shalala cool boy pulled. 13 men back behind the ball straight away. Joe McGuckin has the ball. Gets to the 45. Three around him. He's gobbled up. Tries to get it away. Does get it away to Alex Gavin. Pull on the jersey there to go away with Oshin Keegan. Keegan is fouled on the 45. Ockram start with intent here. And it's all a bit hell for leather. Yeah, as, as you'd expect, there's a lot of pent-up energy probably. You know, two teams wanting to get right out. But it's hell for leather. But it's going to be really tight in front of the goal. Shalala Coolboy looked to be trying to go to defend with, uh, with, uh, against this wind. Well, I, I, I prefer that start and everyone just backing off and mm-hmm. the ball going lateral. Like, you know, it is. It's been an exciting start. And, and if Conor Field is on form, this should be bread and butter to him and we'll know after this whether he is or not. He's just about half a yard inside the 45. He's pretty much central to the town goal here in Ockram. A chance for Conor Phelan here. To put Ockram in front, early doors. Strikes this one, looks straight as a die. It's high and it's over the bar. It's the first score of the game for Ockram. It's a point to no score. Three minutes on the clock here. First blood to Ockram after a cracking start in this one. Sean Carroll... Yeah, plenty of action in the first three minutes, Emmett. Well, as you said, you know, at least Ockram didn't just go lateral with that. They yeah. kept looking to punch holes in the Shalala Coldboy defence. It's going to make for a great game. Shane Carroll long down the field again to that congested area. Hands on it there from Wayne Kinson. Knocked away to PJ Mulhall. Mulhall tears up the field at number six. He's tackled there by Pierce Lawler. He's pushed in the back as the referee play on. Ball is back out to Kieran Lambert. Lambert on the move here. Gets the ball back inside to Wayne Kinsley. Kinsley looks to take on Connor Field. There's an advantage being played again. It'll be back and it'll be a free to Shalala Coldboy and this one's end to end already Yeah, a real good break up the field there by Shalala Coldboy I'm just looking at the way they're setting up and it's probably because of the wind like they're playing Conor Byrne and, and, and Brendan Bean inside and it's Eddie Cullen kind of playing in a triangle he's playing out around the 45 and, and the rest of them are actually coming trying to get on the kick out and that's probably the way they'll set up into the wind Cahill Murphy is going to kick this one better suited to the left foot player he's just inside the corner of the D kicking into the Herb stand here, left boot high and it's over the bar and it's level in Ockram here in the Fitzgerald Kitchens Junior A final. It's one point apiece, four minutes on the clock here and Robert Lambert is going to take the kick to restart. No, both teams pushing right up as well. The, the only option is the long kick out for yeah, either side. Yeah, which is, which is good to see. I prefer this than teams dropping off as well. Kick out will be from Robert Lambert. He looks to cut to this side of the field, drills a ball, looking for Keen Kyo. Kyo lets it hop, takes it on his chest and looks to check back inside. No, he's, he's, unlucky, he's, he's unlucky, real unlucky yeah. there. He slipped and held the ball. It's uh, held up by Sam Healy. It'll be Brendan Bean looking to take this one, looking to get the ball back into play quick. Chance for Bean to fire that ball inside, but well cut out, well read by Oshin Keegan. Drop back into the pocket there, picks up the ball and gets it away to Keane Kyo. Kyo travels up the field, takes on all comers, pushed in the back and wins a free from Johnny Smith. And, uh, took a bit of a, a bang there, but a free talk from on the move there, but both teams just intent on going right at one another here, which is going to make for a cracking game from us. Joe McGucky and is on the ball, 65 yards out from the Herb Stand, cuts back inside and has a look up. Oh, he just looked around, we're calling for an over carry there. He was in two minds with Pierce Lawler, gets the ball back inside to Keegan Kyo, across to Oshin Keegan. Keegan has a man outside him, Finburn opts to carry the ball down the field, does carry the ball so well. He's gone past Wayne Kinsley, he's on the 45 here. Keegan sets himself up and it's dropping in, it's dangerous. Alex Kavner gets a touch and it's in the back of the net Keeper actually got his hand to it first and knocked it onto Alex Kavanagh's fist from a high could see yeah, it's right. in the back of the net and the ball goes in that's a huge score at this time of the game five and a half minutes gone 1-1 one, one, Akram it's a point to Shalala Coolboy well, well, Oshin Keegan was actually excellent there and I thought he was going to look could he pop it off to a shoer Conal O'Brien came looking for it off but he went for the shot and you're right the goalkeeper got it and actually hit it back into it could even be in uh, Alex Kavanagh's head that actually knocked it into the net that's a big, big score either way. It's a foul as uh, Kieran Lambert came out with that ball there. Shalala cool boy. That's a big blow early in the game. But the only thing about a goal going in against Shirley is you have 54 minutes to rectify yeah. it. Chance now 
The ball is fired across the field from the free and it's into the hands of uh, Finlay Nolan. Nolan gets the ball up as far as Dan Nolan. Nolan solos back into traffic but does well to get the ball to Wayne Kinsta. Kinsta, lovely foot pass inside to Finlay Nolan in a pocket of space. Space at a premium here. He gets the ball to Johnny Smith. Smith is away here. Kicks with the outside of the right ball. Comes back off the post. Hops over Joe McGuckey and again it's that man O'Shane Keegan having a big bearing on the game already. Keegan, ball is out as far as uh, the number 10 Shane McGuckey. McGuckey turns back in, carries the ball well gets the ball to Joe McGuckin has a look up takes the ball past uh, Dan Nolan here gets 45 yards out drills a little pass right across the field a brilliant pass it was Ockram's tails are up here as they come down the field with uh, Jimmy Wilmington Wilmington has hit lay over there play on says the referee the ball is with Finborn. great ball in as far as Alex Kavanagh Kavanagh on the swivel here kicks this one is his confidence up no it's just gone to the right of the post and wide but as you said he's played inside he hasn't done a lot of that all year and he's no. causing problems big big yeah, problems. Yeah, because uh, it's been Colin O'Brien is the target man inside normally and, and it's normally Alex Kavanagh the one that delivers it. But yeah, Oshin Keegan has had a real bright start to this game. I see they're kind of... It seems to be three midfielders each because it's Dan Nolan and Oshin Keegan are together. It's Sean Campbell and Cottle Murphy. And Wayne Kinsley then and Pierce Laurel are marking each other. Kick out from Sean. Carroll goes short as far as Wayne Kinsley. He's under a lot of pressure from Pierce Lawler. He gets his free... He'll be happy to take it because yeah. he was under all. Oh, it's kicked away, it's loose, but good play by Aaron Kinsa to get to it first. Joe McGuckey and just, or Shane McGuckey, and sorry, just uh, tackled him. Oh, carried himself into the tackle there. It's play on now in the hands of Phil Neil Nolan. Nolan, 65 yards out, gets the ball to Johnny Smith. Smith underneath is here in the press box, gets it to Eddie Cullen. He's came out from the edge of the square now to try and get a bit of impetus for this uh, Shalala Cole boy outfit. It's PJ Mulhall. Mulhall has a look up, steps back inside. Again has a look up, 45 yards out, pops a little pass off as far as Brendan Bean. Bean right on the far sideline, cuts back inside and uh, foot passes the ball over as far as Rory O'Brien. O'Brien all the way across to Finlay Nolan. Nolan Nolan has a look up 45 yards out looking to punch holes here gets the ball to Dan Nolan Nolan tries to take the ball into traffic but gets it back to Finlay Nolan has a chance to shoot here this one drops in right into the grateful arms of Robert Lambert Lambert steps outside the tackle there of uh, Con or, uh, Connor Byrne and away up the field they come with the ball it's Ockram in possession it's Ockram in control they lead by three here in the Junior A Football Championship Final the Fitzgerald Kitchens Junior A Football Championship Final it's uh, Joe McGuckey and on the, on the move up the the field takes it into two tackles does well to recycle the ball back to Shane Keegan Keegan has a look little foot pass inside to Connor Feeling Feeling coming out from centre forward just to the middle of the field does well takes the tackle away and Kinsa goes to ground off loads as far as Pierce Lawler into Joe McGuckey and McGuckey and checks back inside and has a look now the space opens up for him he's away inside Finley Nolan tries to get a hand on he gets the ball away as far as Sean Campbell Campbell just slips at the vital moment had enough in the tank though to return the ball back to Joe McGuckey and back to or back to Shane McGuckey and back to Joe McGuckey it's into Connell O'Brien O'Brien takes on one two players and wins he's free he done really well there because he was being bottled up and probably a needless free though as well yeah probably was he looked for the mark actually yeah. so he did but he was a hand pass yeah. no, yeah. but it hadn't went uh, 20, no, 20 metres yeah, either no, but yeah either, probably but was a needless free it was worth a try <laughs> yeah because he didn't have a whole lot of space you know so I think it was a needless free to give away it's 9 minutes and far just about 10 minutes on the clock here it'll be a free for Connor Phelan, he's one from one already. I see it's Rory O'Brien is the one that's following Joe McGuckey around the pitch. We were wondering who will do that job. The kick will be for Connor Phelan. He's about 37 or 8 yards out. He kicks this one high into the Ockram sky. They look over and they're happy enough, the umpires, that it's gone high and it's gone over the bar. It's 1-2 to a point here now in this final it's Ockram just controlling the game they did this against Kilmack as well after you know Kilmack tried to start brightly they just got in got to grips with them and controlled the game they're doing it's a very similar uh, uh, first half here to the semi-final that Ockram played isn't it Posh? Yeah because uh, apart from the free that was kicked wide there for Shalala Kulbay and that last shot there from Finley Nolan like they haven't had that many attacks uh, Shalala Kulbay you know Patrick Licardi wins the kick out he's under huge pressure from Kieran Lambert offloads the handbass is a bit short Lambert does well to get a hand in does really well to get the ball back to Cahill Murphy Lambert has the ball in hand now takes it on looks up and inside him is Dan Nolan Nolan gets the ball middle of the field in Ockram under huge pressure from 3-4 uh, Ockram jersey's ball is back with Finlay Nolan there's oh, another another, pull, another free for a pull inside the referee has seen and it'll be a, a free on Brandon Rossiter there by the looks of it He's very intent on on cutting out the yeah the tight marking by the looks of it. 
Cahill Murphy will kick this one. Just about seven or eight yards out from the one he did kick. He's at the top of the D. It's very similar kind of angle for him. Strokes it with his left foot high and it's over the bar. Perfect kick. It's back to a three-point game. One, two to two points here. That's two frees now the Shalel could buy have given or sorry, the Ockram have given away by pulling the jersey of a player off the ball. Like so I think our discipline will have to improve. It will at that. No, it'll be interesting to see the do do those frees keep coming when yeah. there's tired legs and stuff as well. It's all very well given them early in the game, but consistency is the key. It's Robert Lambert goes long, it's a brilliant take by Brandon Rossiter underneath, gets the ball in as far as Johnny Smith. Smith has a look up, drills the ball inside, looking for Connor Byrne. Oh, Byrne takes it on the turn, offloads oh, a really good play there, back in. Oh, Smith just didn't bring away him. The pass was just a half a, a half a millimetre probably behind his hand there. They couldn't take it on yeah, the Yeah, great chance for a goal for Schlele Kulbai. Away come Ockram up the field here, Patrick, or, uh, Sam Healy gets the ball off and it's uh, Joe McGuckian, or yeah, Joe McGuckian with the ball gets it in as far as Connor Feeling. Feeling looks up, pings the ball into Alex Kavna. Kavna has the measure of his man at the minute, sets himself, has a minute. Ah, oh, brilliant score That's from Ockram yeah. from what could have been a goal at the other end of the field. That's almost a four point swing, Podge. It's a brilliant move up the field there, but from Sam Healy, uh, Joe McGuckian, a brilliant ball from Connor, Connor Feeling yeah. in this way. And it's Alex Kavna has them all ends up in there at the minute. Yeah, he surely does. He's causing him a bit of trouble there. Now, I know that's his first score, but like he is causing him trouble. Short kick out goes to PJ Mulhall under all sorts of pressure. Again, happy to hear the whistle. Looks for Wayne Kinsley. Kinsley in front of Pierce Lawler. Takes the ball in. Hand passes it out to Johnny Smith. Smith out on the wing here. King Kyo gets a hand in. Ball is uh, still in the hands of Smith. He does well to get across his own 65. Looks up for the pass inside to Daniel Bean. He's out way out the field. Oh, Ockram be happy enough to see Boom Boom out there. Ball off his right foot. Little pop pass in. Looking for Connor Byrne. Over after him is Ian Clancy. Byrne does well though. Under pressure underneath the scoreboard does really well to recycle the ball back out to Kieran Lambert Lambert gets the ball across to Eddie Cullen Cullen takes on Finn Byrne and again the numbers are back there Joe McGuckin covering every blade already it's a fired in shot Robert Lambert safe as a house underneath that one he's going to need support back there though does really well under pressure from Brandon Rossiter I think if he'd have kept a bit more pressure I think he, yeah, I, over yeah I think yeah. he could have because you know he was he was down on his knees and, right. and he actually got out a little bit easier than he should have yeah and Robert has continued all the way out to the 45 with that one he's done well to get himself out of bother there with Jimmy Wilmington helping him ball is with Patrick Licardi under all sorts of pressure from Johnny Smith there good player yeah. he's blown for over carrying but I think there's two hands in the tackle to be fair to Ackerman there as well yeah and, and probably Johnny Smith got away with one yeah. earlier on actually you know I thought he over carried running across the middle of the field but Wayne yeah. Kinsley looks to take this one it's all happening here in Ockram we've just heading for the halfway mark in the first half one three to Ockram two points to the men from Shalala Colbide they've livened up though they're coming into this game yeah. like, that's Conor Byrne is after have a couple of involvements there where he had quite ten minutes and, and, and Brendan Bean the same they had been quite for the first ten minutes but now they're in it Brendan B he's out in front for this one it looks as uh, Jimmy Wormington went to ground their ball is inside to Brandon Rossiter Rossiter takes a bit of a dunt in the back no freeze the referee play on this ball is still there to be won still comes up all blocked down Brendan Bean in there big block from Sam Healy it'll be a 45 but it's almost like you know, Ockram are celebrating those big moments yeah, and tackles yeah. defensively as much as their scores yeah it has been a real bright start by or bright start by Ockram and um Impossible free in there, I thought, maybe. In, I think, in the first instance, yeah, yeah. Sam Healy, I think, went through the back of... Uh, who was it, actually? It was... I can't remember. Brandon Rossiter, yeah. It was it Brandon was, Rossiter, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. But uh, Wayne Kinsler is going to take this one. But it's interesting to see, Podge, like, uh, Brendan Bean has had to come out now to try yeah. and win ball to get in against this breeze. It, it has picked up a bit, if you look at the flags here be interesting to see how the second half goes with that breeze but Wayne Kinsler pings this oh, oh it's a big score, kick yeah. into the breeze a huge kick from Wayne Kinsler it's won three to Ockram. it's three points to Shalala Colby 15 and a half minutes gone here in this first half of a cracking game Hodge yeah that's some 45 so it is into that wind and you were just talking about it, it, it picking up like the flags are up straight now so they are they're blowing that hard that's a brilliant uh, a brilliant score for Shalala Colby the kick will be again from Robert Lambert Takes his time and sets himself and goes long down the field with this one. Huge kick right down on top of Connor Phelan. Hand on it there. Who's first to the break? It's uh, Sean Campbell. Campbell does really well. Offloads to Connor Phelan. Phelan is well tackled by Dan Nolan. Oh, he does well to retain possession, pick up the ball and wins yeah. his free. In the end, yeah, he won his free. And again, end. it's a free. Shale Colby probably didn't need yeah. to give away. Plenty, plenty of players around. 
Joe McGuckian looks to take this one. The, the quick ball inside has been dried up as Sean Campbell gives it back. He's too close. Yeah, he's way too close. They're too long to think about it. And the free is turned over. I thought that was a throw in now. It's a straight turnover, is it? Mm. By the looks of it. But uh, Kieran Lambert is on the ball here. Again, oh, he's oh, just gobbled up. Brilliant play by Patrick Licardi. Gets the ball off. It's long. It's dangerous. St. Alex Cavanagh. Fist on. Oh, to push it. If, oh, if he lets play the on advantage. there, if he gives an advantage like there. It, yeah, because uh, Alex Cavanagh played that so well. So mm. he did. The ball kicked in like he. Little Ludge came at the back, but he let the ball be. So but if that's a little And, and Colin O'Brien was coming on to it and he could have popped it off. Like that could have been. And it's moved in as well. Shalela Coldboy getting a little bit upset. And I'd say that's because of the Brandon Rossiter incident a minute ago. Maybe. Like, yeah. if, if, yeah. that's, if that's a nudge in the back, Brandon Russell. But to tell you the, the truth, I think Stephen Fagan did. Chanel could buy a favour there. Yeah, Conor Feeling Connor getting, Feeling attention, getting yeah. a bandage on his leg, high up on his leg there. That's it's about the third time he's actually had to get attention in the first, in the last couple of minutes. I see him going down a few times. So we have a kick here, and it'll be Alex Kavanagh to take this one a little bit closer in. He sets himself, makes the angle a bit better, and kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. It's, oh. Yeah, they were having a bit of a look there for whatever reason, but it's one for Tockram, three points to Shalala Goldboy, 17 and a half on the clock. This game is anyone still. Connor Phelan has gone right inside to the full forward line. Alex Kavanagh has came out on the 40 here. Yeah, I don't sure because Alex Kavanagh's causing a lot of trouble oh, in there. causing big, big danger in there. It'll be, but who's to say he won't cause it on the 40 he's, when he's on his game? Right. He's as good as Stephen reason, Fagan yeah. is telling uh, Conor Feeling he has to leave now because he got attention from yeah, the physio. That's in my eyes, the game was not stopped, the t- yeah. time was not delayed. And that's and not the rule. The rule is the referee's discretion. Now, his yeah. discretion shouldn't be that he has to leave the field yeah, to come back on after getting no, the bandage the, on the, his the leg. play wasn't stopped. Yeah. Free here to Aaron Kinsley. A pull back from Conal O'Brien. It was just a, a bit yeah, of well a Yeah, now Conor Feeling is back in. Yeah. Well, he should be. No, he's still not back no. in. No, that's I wouldn't crazy. be standing on the side oh, no, be That's gone. crazy, Cree. He's telling yeah, them, he's he's telling them to come, come back in now, but look, that's silly, silly rules. They, you know, the lad that's making them is not a footballer or a hurler, I can guarantee you that. Wayne Kinsley, ball is under 45 here. Solos with this one. Pierce Lawler has him under huge uh, pressure there. It'll be a free. Takes a quick, looks inside. Oh, it's oh, well Sheen right. Keegan again. Oh, Sheen Keegan again. Again, he's playing that position to perfection there. The number eight checks, checks back inside, gives the ball to Pierce Lawler. Lawler has a look up. He'll need support from there. There's always support, and it's always in the form of uh, one of the McGuckians. <coughs> yeah. It's Joe, it's, uh, Joe McGuckian again on the ball here. Has a look, pops it back to Sheen Keegan. Keegan solos. Has another look and just holds up the point of the attack. Ball goes across back to Joe McGuckey and again Sam Healy is off his shoulder. Healy takes it. Now he'll go forward. Connor Phelan is just inside him. Healy ups it. Take on Cahill Murphy. Solos he gets to the middle of the field. Goes to the far side right underneath the standards. Ockram take the patient approach for a minute or two. It's been a hell for letter start to this one from both sides. Ushie and Keegan back on the ball. 45 yards out from his own goal. Solos with this one. Gets to the 65. He's going to be under pressure but he uh, seeing it coming. Gets the ball to Pierce Lawler out to Keane Kyo Kyo right underneath the press box here little pass outside but it's gone over the head of uh, Shane McGuckey and there's loose ball is away and Johnny Smith comes up with Smith comes back outside and gets away up the field danger here for uh, when Johnny Smith runs there's danger for any team but it's Connor Byrne now right out the field oh brilliant pass in as far as Dan Nolan Nolan has a runner inside it's Eddie Cullen Cullen is in space here what will he do he's a man off his shoulder it's a good tackle and it's a loose pass Real brilliant good tackle, yeah. brilliant defence brilliant play by Jockey McGuckey and again really good defensive play by Ockram Patrick Licardi comes away with the ball gets it to Connor Phelan pops it away outside to Jimmy Wilmington here come Ockram they're so good on the transition as they call it now it's the counter attack in my book he kicks this one high away to the left though and it's gone wide and it's a uh, it's end end stuff here <laughs> yeah it surely is like a great turnover there a couple of great turnovers actually for both teams you know and um, there was some ball into Dan Nolan and, and he popped it off to Eddie Cullen and, and Joe McGuckey did really well to get the, this possession Kick out will be from Sean Carroll again. PJ Mulhall offers himself up, but there's not an awful lot more movement around the field for Shalala Cool Boy. Long ball down top of Dan Nolan. Oh, I took it well. Took his mark, done well under pressure. Gets the ball away out to the far side to Kieran Lambert. Or uh, to Boom Boom, it's uh, Brendan Bean. But again, it's O'Shane Keegan. A huge play again from Keegan. He's coming up with all the big plays at the minute, this young man. He's playing really well. 
He's going to take this line ball as well. He was looking for the ball inside. Connor Fielding is uh, shouting, why didn't you give it to me? But he's gone long looking for Conal O'Brien. O'Brien out in front, but a good tackle in from Aaron Kinsler there. Gets the foot to, gets the ball away to his brother Wayne and takes the one to. Kinsler leads the charge from full back. Cuts inside Pierce Lawler. Gives the ball away to Eddie Cullen. Cullen recycles it back to Aaron Kinsler here now. Runs being made inside, but space at a premium. Ockram really well set up. It's a good ball that finds Brandon Rossiter. Rossiter on the move across the 45. Big tackle by Yushin Keegan oh, I think that's Brandon Rossiter carried it that into him more than I would be given I'd have been given credit to the tackler there <laughs> but look it's a, it's a coming together and it's a free according to Stephen Fagan he's right down there at 22 minutes gone here in the Fitzgerald Kitchens Junior A football final it's 1-4 to Ockram it's 3 points to cool boy Brandon Rossiter in big trouble now by the looks of things. I yeah, think it's more the area he's injured yeah. is the problem, Emmett. I yeah. don't think the injury's that bad. It's just yeah. where he got it. It's it's not for me or you I, to rub anyway. No, I him. think he might have a pain in his stomach, let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not to be left at either. <laughs> you tell, tell that to Tracy behind <laughs> us here. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a free in. Yeah, and uh, I think Wayne Kinsel will have a go at this because yeah, he uh, the wind the has actually died down again. And actually, he's put this, he's not actually. He's I was going to say, would he not put it down after kicking the 45 from. Yeah, and Brandon Rosser doesn't have to go off there yeah, now. As you say, it's at yeah. the referee's discretion. Like, that so. kick but is anyway. into Conor Byrne. Byrne on the swivel kicks this one. That's a great score. Score. It's a brilliant score. Brilliant score. A brilliant, brilliant score from Conor Byrne. Uh, quick free, we were wondering why yeah. he didn't go off the ground and kick it. That's why he didn't, because he knew Conor Byrne is capable of that. Yeah. 23 minutes gone, one four to four points, a three-point game in a cracking Junior A football final here. Ockram with the kick out. It'll be Robert Lambert to take this one. Goes long down the field again. Huge kick from Lambert, dropping in the middle of the field. Fist on it from uh, uh, Joe McGuckey in there, but it's going to carry out over the sideline. It'll be Kieran Lambert to take this line ball. Goes long down the field again, looking for Conor Byrne inside. It's whoa, it's who is it? It's that man, O'Shane Keegan, cuts it out again, does really well and steps outside the tackle, gets the ball off as far as uh, Pierce Lawler. Lawler finds Keen Kyo Kyo, 45 yards out from his own goal, carries the ball so well. He's going into a bit of traffic, gets to the middle of the field. It's a pull on the jersey, but he's away. Gets the ball to Alex Kavna. Kavna cuts inside Finlay Nolan. He'll need support from there. Gets it back to Keane Kyo. He has Shane McGuckey uh, outside him. McGuckey looked like he was going to shoot. Gets the ball to Connell uh, O'Brien. Oh, O'Brien, two brilliant dummy solos. The second one was a bit oh. too much. Oh. Oh. No, I think Aaron Kinsley is unfortunate there. To I, think is, I think he is, because I think the second one was probably a bit too much for the kind of area he was in, but look, yeah. it's... Yeah, well, it's he a, drew it's, the foul. Yeah, it's a free he, end now, anyway. He drew the foul, as the fella says. He's got it. It's Connell O'Brien to kick this one. And, and in fairness, like uh, Alex Kavanagh tried to pull off a dummy solo and he didn't get away with it either. I don't think Scalia called Boyer going to let um, the skillful off from players uh, get away with that type of play. Chance for Connell O'Brien to register here. Just flicks it high and flicks it over the bar down into the town end. It's one five. Tockram four points. Shalala cool by 24 and a half on the clock. There's four and a half or five and a half minutes and injury time left in this. And this is a big five and a half minutes for both teams now. Another score or two for Ockram is huge. Another score or two for Shalala cool by with that wind in the back in the second half is huge, Podge. Yeah, I think if, if they could go in four points down, I think Shalala cool would be happy enough. Brilliant take by Cahill Murphy in the middle of the field. Fires the ball in in front of Wayne Kinsley he's gone inside now brings Pierce Lawler with him held up by Pierce Lawler and uh, they'll have to cut out those frees Ockram there's a good few of those coming yeah. just it's they're not even they're, it's a bit of lazy tackling to be fair Wayne Kinsley is setting himself to kick this one like the, the Conor Byrne free that um, Shalala Coolboy got was their first play from score but it came from a short free as well you know so they're handling them in open play but they can't afford to be giving away frees it's Wayne Kinsler to kick this one. You just get to the top of the D almost straight in front of the goal. It's gone away off the right of his boat and away up into the over the net and into Herbst there. There'll be one for Pat Henry in the morning. It'll be one yeah, the morning probably before he's in there. <laughs> I think uh, Wayne Kins is very disappointed with that. And hmm. I see he's he's staying inside, is he? He is. Yeah, he's he's gone inside Sam Healy, he's gone to pick him up there. Yeah. 
Maybe he needs a breather from around the middle of the field. It's interesting to see, but Daniel Bain has come right to the middle of the field now. Huge kick down the field, looking for Pierce Lawler. Lawler tries to get to it. It's well read by Dan Nolan. Hand pass it off to Brandon Rossiter. Space opening up now. Finley Nolan off his shoulder. Rossiter continues on. Flicks the ball out to Wayne Kinsley. He gets this one on his right foot. Yeah. And this one is eyeing. It's over the bar. And that's why he's in there. Yeah. If he's getting the rest, he's doing a good thing because he's kicked a really good score. And again... The Ockram kick out, they kind of kicked it to where they were outnumbered that time and never really got to the pitch of the ball. Yeah, I, I think Chanel Kupai actually had to have the advantage on the kick outs now because they're disrupting the Ockram ones and they're winning their own, but they're kicking it to the likes of Cotton Murphy. Lads, they have the height advantage, you know, over the Ockram players. Kick out will be from. Robert Lambert again drills this one, looking for Pierce Lawler. Lawler takes this one, offloads it to Keane Kyo. Kyo on the move, cuts back inside. He'll offload it to uh, Sam Healy. Healy gets the ball out as far as uh, Joe McGuckey. McGuckey and drops the shoulder, turns and gets the ball to Alex Kavanagh. Kavanagh is continuing at the, on the 40 the way he was inside. Oh, he's drifted past two players. Oh, it's a big pull down there from uh, Dan Bean or Brendan, yeah, Brendan yeah. Bean there kicked quick it's gone inside to Connell O'Brien O'Brien gets to the top of the D cuts back inside oh he dummies the solo again again he's in all sorts of trouble again he gets out with this one has gone away oh it hits the top of the post comes back into play first to react is Patrick Licardi he done really well Licardi there everyone else kind of fell asleep as the ball was in there Jimmy Wilmington is on it he's on the 14 he'll need support from there numbers back gets the ball to Connor Phelan Phelan back out to Joe McGuckey and drops the shoulder cuts back inside there's players calling for it all across the 40 he waits his time and comes back and gives the ball to Pierce Lawler Lawler gets the ball to Sam Healy Healy on the turn kind of slips but gives the ball out as far as Keane Kyo Kyo has a look cuts back inside well set up the Shalala Cole by defence Shane McGuckey is on the ball here he needs a runner off the shoulder in space over here is Alex Kavanagh how is he he in that much space with the boo he has he hangs this one up it's dangerous oh player gone to ground inside I thought oh it's a free out <laughs> I thought the keeper had came out too far on their mm, knee. Yeah, but no, and I was I watching can't. the contact between the two players. Uh, Conal Bryan goes to the ground and how it was a free out, well, I'm not sure. I don't know how the player in front fouls the player behind yeah. him, but anyway... We're, a, we're away out and up the field the Shalala cool boy come raiding PJ Mulhall has the ball has a look up as Ockram tried to filter back into their positions gets the ball to Kieran Lambert minute and a half of normal time to go here there's three points in it it's one five to five points PJ Mulhall is back on the ball as Cahill Murphy takes it from him Murphy has a look and gives the ball out to Dan Nolan Nolan on the move here Solos with this one has a look up Solos it hops it again and pops it off as far as Wayne Kinsley Kinsley is causing problems in there he's gone through heavy traffic he's gone past Oshin Keegan ball is into Johnny Smith Smith is one on one with Jimmy Wilmington does well Wilmington again ball hops out of the grasp of Johnny Smith it's Oshin Keegan picks the ball up breaks up to another attack for Shalala Coldboy and wins his free and does really well yeah he's a real good had a real good first half so he has it's a heavy hit on a heavy Shane McGuckey Dan Nolan there on Shane McGuckey and, and you know what he, I, I think it was a 50-50 ball I think he committed to the ball but made contact with the player yeah the referee is calling them out here. We'll get a quick second look ahead on the screen because we're a few seconds behind. But it's one of those I just had my eye away from it, if I'm honest. But the free is taken. It's just an awkward one. It's Yeah, it was yeah, a 50-50, yeah. 50-50 ball that Dan Nolan went for, really. And it's a yellow card for Dan Nolan yeah, there. Yeah. He, you probably wouldn't like your players pulling out those tackles either. No, that's the thing. And county final like if he doesn't go for that you're probably turning around saying he's not on it yeah that's right yeah <laughs> you know so more missed time than anything else yeah so there was nothing there was nothing dirty or anything about it it's a free we'll have one minute of injury time here Jimmy Wilmington is on the ball underneath us here gets it out and fires it back to Ian Clancy Clancy wearing number three has been marking Conor Byrne or whoever comes his way in there and he's away up the field 45 yards out he'll need support from here goes long left foot huge ball looking for Alex Cavanagh this one's taken by PJ Malal. Malal does well and gets the ball to Brandon Rossiter Rossiter on the move here we've about 40 seconds of injury time to go it's uh, Brendan Bean is out on the ball in the middle of the field here gets the ball back into Brandon Rossiter Rossiter has a look up and solos with this one again there's uh, lots of numbers back for Ockram inside but Hedy Cullen now is on the move here Cullen travels so well with the ball gets it off inside but they come all the way back out such is the set up back there Cahill Murphy 
Murphy happy to take it gets it across to Dan Nolan Nolan has a look gets the 45 yards out talk about maybe having a shot but gives it to Conor Bourne Bourne drops the shoulder does really well little flick of the boo inside looking for uh, Dara Ross no it's brilliant defending back there again and it's a foul surely back there on Sean Campbell and it's half time here in Ockram in the Fitzgerald Kitchens Junior A football final it's 1-5 five to 5 points uh, 31 minutes on that clock Padre blew it up right on time I suppose you're, the question you're probably going to ask is is it more than a three point wind I think the way Ockram are setting up though they're probably well able to contain a three point to, to yeah, you, without a goal Shalala Coolboy are going, they're going to need a goal probably in the second half yeah, no, the only thing is there's a, there's a couple of players in the Shalala Coolboy team that can kick points from distance yeah. Ockham there a couple of occasions had the ball inside the 45 and nobody was willing to take on the shot Alice Kavanagh was the only one really so it'll be interesting I'd say both teams might go in happy at half times at half time like Shalala Coolboy will say right this is only three points we have to win the second half Ockham will turn around and say well we're actually three points up mm. keep doing what we're doing you know so yeah, look, that's a brilliant. As we said, it's the Fitzgerald Kitchens Junior A football final here in Echelon Park in Ockram. It's Ockram 1 5, Shalala Cool by 5 points. We'll be back with a crack in second half shortly. We're just going to take a quick break here. Make sure and tune back in. place at this time. We belong not because of who we are or where we come from. Being here means belonging. Belonging means knowing you're part of a community. A community that has a place for all. Where potential is nurtured. Where individuals become teams. We honour the legacy of those who went before and strive to build a legacy of their own. Some of us play. Some of us used to play. Some of us never played. We all belong. Belonging means having a voice. Means being able to say what you think is right. Being listened to. Belonging means respecting each other. Means being there for each other. On the pitch, off the pitch. Belonging means rolling our sleeves up and doing what needs to be done. We all belong, whether it's our first day or our hundredth year. We all belong here because this place belongs to us all. Our GAA, where we all belong. Born in 1930. About three miles to the east of Dingle, Dun Sheehan in Nakalish and Dangle. Of food and down the game is on the ball thrown in by Patrick Kelly. Cork playing down toward the railway goal in the first half in the ball. Nobody got it into the hand yet. Picked up by Jerry O'Connor. He's now engaging in a shouldering match, and that's a foolish thing for a man that was getting treatment for the shoulder all the week. Off the upright breaks out of Massey. Massey, a chance of a goal, and he's got it. Tomorrow's Massey in from Dublin.
Sports in Wicklow is a resource between Wicklow GAA and Mental Health Ireland, focusing on five ways to well-being, which allow you to make small positive life improvements that can be really and easily added into your daily life. They are connect, make time to connect, connect with people around you, friends, family, in the community. Being connected helps our happiness. It gives us a better sense of purpose. Be active, be active every day. Run, walk, run, swim or cycle, step outside, do an activity you enjoy, being physically active improves us, take notice, be aware of the world around you, be curious, notice the changing season, savour the moment, pay attention to the present, keep learning, try something new, rediscover an old interest, sign up for a course, cook a new recipe, set yourself a challenge, give, giving to others is good for you, do something nice for someone, thank someone, volunteer your time, giving can be rewarding. Additional information available at www.officialwicklowgaa.ie forward slash supports in Wicklow or www.mentalhealthireland.ie In the heart of the Garden County where the hills meet the sky We gather in our colors with our heads held high From off from sacred ground to the fields where legends play We carry dreams of glory and the wind go away We go GAA, our heart and soul through every rise and every fall With courage and pride we stand as one In the cave we love our journey's begun From earth to football we'll give our all We go GAA Rocky and the titles of you. We've tasted sweet victories and we felt the blues from Ray to Kanye. With every match we fight, we go GAA, our heart and soul through every rise and every fall. With courage and pride, we stand as one. In the game we love, our journeys become from earth to football. We give our all. We go GAA, we'll answer call. Cheering. In our hearts we feel the fire Together as a family We'll rise and never tire With every kick and every score Our spirits soar so high For the love of the game We'll reach for the sky We'll go GAA Our heart and soul Through every rise and every fall With courage and pride we stand this one In the game we love our journeys We come from earth to football We give our all so here's to our players and the dreams yet to come With Wicklow GAA, we'll always be one In the heart of our county, where the spirit runs free Together we'll conquer in unity From the hills, the bleeding valleys wide To the fields where our legends reside We carry the spirit of Wicklow strong In the Gaelic games where we belong All the battles fought, the glory sought In every heart, the fighters never caught Through the highs and lows, we stand as one Wicklow's pride, our races never run Wicklow, Wicklow, what was in your name? In the heart of Leinster, you play the game From brave In 23 we tasted the Mickey Record Cup with Casey's guidance, we rose up From Armagh's fields to Donegal's call, we gave our all, we stood tall The tales of old, the dreams we hold, in every match a story told With every pass and every goal, we close heart, we close soul We close, we close, what was in your name? In the heart of Leinster you play the game from Bray to Carnu, your spirit flies In the blue and gold, our pride never dies In 23 we tasted the Nicky Record Cup With Casey's guidance we rose up From Amos Fields to Donegal's call We gave our all, we stood tall The tales of old, the dreams
legends we hold in every match a story told with every pass and every goal wicklow's heart wicklow's soul wicklow wicklow we sing your name in the heart of leinster you play the game from brain to Carnu, your spirit flies in the blue and gold our pride never dies though no seeing the title we may claim in every heart burns with close flame From Christy Ring to battles bold Our history rich, our future gold From Bray Emmett's early days of pride To the modern warriors by our side With McConville now to guide the way We face tomorrow, come what may The fields we roam, our sacred home In every cheer, we're not alone The Wicklow spirit, strong and free Lives in you and lives in me Wicklow, Wicklow, we sing your name in the heart of Leinster, you play the game. From Bray to Carnu, your spirit flies. In the blue and gold, our pride never dies. So here's to Wicklow, brave and true. In every match and all we do. With heads held high and hearts so grand. We are Wicklow, together we stand. You're all very welcome back to Echelon Park in Ockram for the second half of our Fitzgerald Kitchens Junior A football final between Ockram and Shalala Coolboy. Delicately poised, I suppose. Podge is the way to put this one as Shalala Coolboy turn around to, to play with the breeze in their back. The breeze has dropped a bit now and seems to be gone away. Uh, just a, a quick shout out to all the young stars from both Ockram and Shalala Coolboy. We got an exhibition of football from them at half time there. But uh, this one, as I said, could go anyway now. Sam Healy has come out on. Uh, Brandon Rossiter at centre back it's all changing in, posi in positions but no actual changes on the field Podge yeah no it'll be interesting this now the first couple of minutes of this half um, could have a long way to go to deciding who wins it ball is in from Stephen Fagan and Cahill Murphy does well and knocks it down as far as Dan Nolan outside to uh, Brendan Bean Bean on the move here cuts back inside lovely ball looking for Conor Byrne Byrne is out in front of Ian Clancy does really well Conor Byrne holds possession really well gets a foot pass away it's a little bit loose Brendan Bean does well to palm it back as far as Dan Nolan Nolan has a look up now underneath his here in the press box cuts inside uh, Sean Campbell drops the shoulder gets a pass off to Kieran Lambert Lambert again is loose uh, back as far as PJ Mulhall but they Hall possession, he looks for that ball, it's dangerous it's long, it's one man in on the edge of the square there, is a gun, uh, Wayne Kinsler gone from midfield, does well to get a hand on a good play by Joe McGuckey and back there, oh it's loose, Sam Healy under all sorts of pressure, gets the ball back to Robert Lambert they dealt with that well yeah, enough they did, like they it was making, nervy enough yeah, yeah. they were making problems probably for themselves but Wayne Kinsler gone in <clears> now, it looks like there's only one thing on Shalala Coolboy's mind here it's going to be the long ball in looking for scores, Oshin Keegan on the ball gets the ball as far as uh, Joe McGuckey and McGuckey and tears up the field with this one. Kieran Lambert comes across to try and stop him. Solo again from McGuckey and lovely little pop pass back as far as uh, Sean Campbell. Campbell, middle of the field in Ockram as uh, Ockram now play into that. Herbst end in the second half gets the ball out as far as Jimmy Wilmington. Wilmington gets it into Pierce Lawler. Lawler gets the ball to Alex Kavanagh. Kavanagh drops deep and cuts inside Cahill Murphy. Oh, he's away, Alex Kavanagh. Brilliant play by Kavanagh. Out comes PJ Mulhall. He looks for the ball inside to Conal O'Brien he probably could have chance to shot didn't want a chance at Patrick Licardi does really well but the ball is carried out and gone <laughs> wide and what actually happened was <coughs> Conal O'Brien thought actually Alex Kavanagh was actually going to shoot yeah and because he kind of made a run and then he kind of stopped when he saw Alex Kavanagh uh, winding up but he just wasn't ready for the pass but Alex Kavanagh showed there he can give a, a clean pair of heels to lads if he, if he gets that bit of space a free that Harden Kinson okay. has taken gives it to Sean Carroll and takes it back deep in their own half Shalala Coolboy up the field they come with Harden Kinson Kinson's away he's uh, tackled there by Conal O'Brien uh, he back inside to Darrell Ross and does well to come away with PJ Mulhall takes it through traffic oh it's good play for Mulhall gets the ball off outside and away they come with Darrell Ross and up the field he pops the ball off 
Outside him to Brandon Rossler, little one too. Where Rossen and Rossen is on the move here. It's quick, it's good. But well, step man O'Shean Keegan gets a hand in at the top of the D. Ball breaks away as far as Connor Byrne. Byrne finds himself space like all good forwards do. He kicks this one high and kicks it over the bar. It's a big score for Shalel Kulboy. It's a big score for Connor Byrne. Yeah. And that's really well taken. Yeah, that's Connor Byrne's second score now. Two great scores he's kicked actually. You know, O'Shean Keegan nearly got to dispossess that again because I think it was a high solo. But um, he just couldn't gather the ball and, and Conor Byrne did really well. Robert Lambert to take this kick out. They haven't been getting the ball their own way on their own kick out. Sockram long ball right down the middle of the field and it just breaks inside. Again, the numbers are there for Shalel, the cold boy. Ball breaks out to Johnny Smith. Smith solos with this one, 65 yards out. Looks to get away from Sam Healy. Does get away from Sam Healy. Smith is on the move here. He's got, looking to cut inside on the goal. Oh, it's a brilliant score from Shalel, the cold boy. A brilliant score from Johnny Smith. And all of a sudden, there's a point in this game, one five to seven. Can't understand Ockram's kick outs, Podge. They're going to kick the ball twice now down and Alex Kavna and Joe McGuckie Joe McGuckie is actually others. competing yeah. yeah they're the smaller men in the middle of the field and they're surrounded by big men from Shalala cool boy yeah. it's uh, just something they're probably going to have to work on if they're going to get out of this one one point game here in Ockram three and a half minutes gone in the second half Robert Lambert the kick the wind is picked up again Lambert goes long this time he looks for Pierce Lawler Lawler though spills it from his grasp but takes it on the turn picks it up and breaks the tackle hops it has a look up he'll need a run inside there is a run inside it's one on one it's Connell O'Brien Chance O'Brien takes it at the second of them tries to swing around gets the ball to Joe McGuckie McGuckie is barreled into has the shot fires it high and fires it over the bar big answer from Ockram to those two points in a row from Shalala Coolboy this same game is opening up and this game is going to be a cracker like realistically uh, Ockram are going to have to find the likes of Pierce Lawler and these kick outs you know because he's the one that has that bit of size because Ushin Keegan has gone back into Mark Wayne Kinsler so he's not out for the kick outs so it's only Sean Campbell and Pierce Lawler and Pierce Lawler's winning them when, he's, when they're kicked to him. Sean Carroll goes long down the field. Cahill Murphy wins his kick right over on that far side. Uh, left foot ball drilled in, looking for Wayne Kinsta. Hand in from Ushin Keen. Kinsta takes it really well. Oh, there's a runner inside. It's Dan Nolan. Chance for Nolan. Keen Kyo gets his hand across him. Ball is offloaded inside to Johnny Smith. Chance for Smith. Shot. Oh, we're brilliant. He's giving free back. out for a throw ball. A three out for a throw ball. I had followed the ball. I didn't hear the whistle there. Yeah. What was it? I thought it was a very calm one handed save from Robert. Lambert all the same I was going to compliment him on it but it'll be a free out for a throw ball and there's no real argument to be fair from no. Delayla cool boy either when yeah. Kinsley just saying he thought it was a clean hand pass but the man that matters we have a change coming in here Luke Dolan comes in for Dara Rawson Luke Dolan is in Dara Rawson is off the kick, the free is to be taken by Ushin Keegan, goes all the way back to Robert Lambert and Lambert comes out the field with this one, Conor Byrne will go to front him up, Solos with this, he'll need support from there, no one has really got to him, good play by Conor Byrne, offloads the ball off as far as uh, Pierce Lawler, Lawler calmly kicks the ball back into Ushin Keegan, 45 yards out from his own goal, gets up the field with this one, Dan Nolan looks to tackle, good play as he spins out one tackle, then the second tackle, he's surely oh, pulled pull back, an arm there, yeah. look to be a pull of a blatant pull of an arm there, missed by the referee, He's right down on it though. It's a, it'll be a free kick to Wayne Kinston. Shalala cool boy goes all the way back to PJ Mulhall as they look to reset and rebuild here. Cahill Murphy is on this one. Murphy uh, right out in his own 65. He's tackled by Alex Kavanagh. Gets the ball back into uh, Rory O'Brien. O'Brien on the move. Gets the ball back out to Cahill Murphy. Murphy has a look up. Ockram drop everyone bar. Connell O'Brien back here. Uh, just controlled on the boot there by PJ Mulhall gets the ball out to Luke Dolan Dolan solos with this one lively coming in we need support that support comes from Cahill Murphy Murphy in a bit of space that left boot now as he looks for the run inside of Conor Byrne Byrne is on it good ball inside oh it's well won though by Ian Clancy really good play yeah, really good Clancy, back play yeah. by Ian Clancy Hushing Keegan is back there it's a loose looking hand pass to Finn Byrne Byrne under all sorts of pressure gets the ball to Joe McGuckie but it's broke down and it's, uh, Brendan Bean gets a hand on it gets it to Dan Nolan ball is into Kieran Lambert again it's good tackling from both sides in here it's championship stuff it's Sam Healy really coming is, yeah. out it is and there's a hand it. gone in yeah. there from Kieran Lambert and there's a bit of a push back from Sam Healy. There's nothing really in it. Both no, players no, no, are up and going away. Yeah. There's no need for... Uh, probably was a little bit of high tackle, but nothing... He no was coming much, down and not he was much coming minute. up. It wasn't. No. I wouldn't... No. It wouldn't be something... Like it's a championship over, football. It's a championship it's a football. Final. And it's not something that overly worry me. No. The yellow card, he picks up. Uh, yellow yeah, card but like a, And it's going to be a throw ball then as well. Right. Huge so. intensity here between the two teams at the moment. 
Yeah, and it's all happening right around that middle third. Cahill Murphy tries to grab that one hand. Oh, good play by Dan Nolan. Wins his free. A chance. Yeah, he gets his free for winning the ball there. It's going to be Cahill Murphy on the left boot to kick this with seven and a half gone. As I said, it's a still a two-point game here. Shalala Coolboy coming out in the second half with two big scores with Akram answering them with one. Cahill Murphy kicks this one off the left boot. It's a trusty left boot. It's high and it's over the bar. It's one six to Akram. It's eight points to Shalala Coolboy. We have just about eight minutes on the clock in this second half. Anyone's game, Podge. It's anyone's game. Yeah, it really is. It, it, the important thing for Ockram is that they, they win their own kickouts because Shalele could buy her probably on top at the moment, you know, so Ockram have to make best use of their possession. Long ball down the field, comes off the boom. Again, it's down double jaws. Brilliantly taken by Cahill Murphy again. Takes his mark, takes his time and flicks a little pass back as far as Luke Dolan. The man just in, gives it to PJ Mulhall. Mulhall finds Dan Nolan. Nolan on the move, hand passes it inside. Wayne Kinsler goes to ground. Uh, Oshin Keegan's win, but PJ Mulhall has continued his run to centre back. Has a man off his shoulder. Oh, just didn't quite put the boot through. It didn't look comfortable and it's gone away to the left and yeah. gone wide. And a let off there from Ockram. Uh, definitely a let off for Ockram, so it was like. The, the kick out again straight down on top of Cottle Murphy and who was the target the target was Joe McGuckian you know um, yeah but PJ just couldn't manage to clip that one over the bar and it would have been a great score to bring them level Dylan Byrne is about to enter the fray for Ockram not a bad sub to have at this stage of the game it's a one point game like we said he'll be coming in around the ninth minute of the second half the number wearing number 21 Referee says take the kick out. It's long again and again. It's a good fist on it this time by Pierce Slaughter. Connor Fielding gets to the pitch of the ball. He gets the ball 65 yards out from the herbs then. Has a look up. He needs support. Gets the ball back to Lawler. Lawler gets the ball to Patrick Licardi. He goes back and into Sam Healy. Healy gives the ball to Joe McGuckey. McGuckey needs support on the far side. There is support. It's Finburn is out there. Takes the ball. Solos to the 65. Has a look up. Goes long down the field. Oh, a brilliant pass in as far as Sean Campbell. Campbell pops the ball off. Outside uh, to Shane McGuckey McGuckey in on the move here Ops to just turn back with this one gives the ball back to Jimmy Wilmington Wilmington 65 yards out now gets the ball to Pierce Lawler Lawler has a look up again at Shane McGuckey and offers himself this time he turns and faces the goal gives the ball to Wilmington Wilmington lovely ball inside Alex Camden a good hand in by Rory O'Brien good back play there it's Luke Dolan comes out with this one oh he's stripped to the ball though by Alex Kavanagh Kavanagh does really well and Kavanagh wins his free big turnover yeah, that's huge, a big turnover yeah, huge, huge, huge turnover for uh, for Ockram Alex Cavanagh did so well he didn't win the first ball that was kicked in I think it was a Rory O'Brien or Findlay, Findlay Nolan whichever it was did really well yeah Sean Campbell is going to come out Dylan Byrne enters the fray here so yeah, yeah Alex Cavanagh done really really did, well yeah. there yeah he did and like he worked hard to try and win the ball back and, and he was successful Chance now to steady the ship for Ockram again. The kick will be from Kavna himself as he lines this one up. He's about seven or eight yards to the left-hand post as we look at it here from the press box. Swings this one high. It's going to come in enough. Yeah. It is. It started well. It started out a little bit close to the post, but swung in really well. And it's one seven to Ockram now. It's eight points to Shalala Coldboy. Ockram just. Just hanging in. Just uh, hanging yeah, in. And they've got every, in front, every yeah. time, you know, every time Shalala Coldboy look look like they're taking over they're just able to sneak a point yeah Shalala could buy a couple of chances to get level and Arkham come back up the field and then put a two point game in it again like you know and yeah. you'll imagine Shalala could buy will probably get the next score to bring it back to one again Sean Carroll to take this kick out goes long down the field it doesn't have that long sorry it hangs in there ball breaks though it's well won back there is it no it's Finlay Nolan just lost possession Connor Phelan does really well to get that ball gives it to Dylan Byrne Byrne fires the ball in to Connell O'Brien oh brilliantly taken on the spin by O'Brien looks to take on two or three tackles ball breaks outside to Shea McGuckey McGuckey does well to hold possession there he'll need support from that angle Connor Phelan offers himself up in all sorts of space here he has the boot has he but this one's gone away to the right he knew the minute he kicked it gone away to the right and just didn't quite set himself right he had time but not enough Podge yeah no it probably wasn't the right decision to take the shot on really they probably need to be more patient because they're not going to get that many opportunities in the second half really playing into the race kick out from Sean Carroll Carroll has a look up here flicks the ball long down the field again Finn Byrne gets a hand 
breaks away from Eddie Cullen. Oh, it's good play though by Conor Phelan to pick up the pieces. Uh, Joe McGucky and again lashes the ball in. Again, it's Conal O'Brien now in front of uh, Aaron Kinsa. Does well. Aaron stands him up. Oh, O'Brien kicks. That's a huge score from O'Brien. He's been kind of threatening that for yeah. a while. He's been out in front. He's probably took a little bit too much out of the ball on a couple of occasions, but this time he's nailed it. It's back to a three point game. That's a big couple of minutes for Ockram. And to tell you the truth, like what's, what has been happening up to now, and Conal O'Brien has been getting the ball and he goes to take on Aaron Kinsley. Aaron Kinsley is able for that, and he's physical and he's getting contact and dispossessing. That time he learned, he said, let's shoot before he gets his hands on me. You know, a real good score. Ball breaks in the middle of the field. It's a push in the back, says the referee there. Ball left down. Dan Nolan will take this one. He wanted to take it a bit quicker, but again, fires the ball in. And again, it's O'Shane Keegan. Back in the pocket, as we call it. Gives the ball to Dylan Byrne. Byrne gives the ball to Sam Healy. Away come Ockram up the field here. Just holds up the point of the attack. Waits for support. O'Shane Keegan offers it up. Uh, Pierce Lawler's kind of free to far side, but just offloads as far as Joe McGuckey. And McGuckey and pops a pass back as far as Jimmy Wilmington. Back to McGuckey and McGuckey and gets up the field. Connor Field. All of a sudden, it looks like Ockram now have the momentum here as Pierce Lawler gets the ball out to Keane Kyo Kyo cuts, looks to go inside Johnny Smith he puts Smith on the back foot he gets to the 45 Kyo is away here to the top of the D oh lovely little pass inside and he's fouled and a free another good passage of play for Ockram Johnny Smith is going to go into the book here but that's really good play from Ockram oh Keane Kyo was excellent there when, we, when Ockram had the ball over around this sideline I was looking at Keane Kyo was across the far side I could see Pierce Lawler looking to get on the ball so he could spread it to him like a couple took a couple of passes but when he got he ran straight at Johnny Smith and went around him. And, and, and after that, after he passed the ball, he was fouled and, and Johnny Smith picks up a yellow. That's what Johnny Smith does to people. He runs straight yeah, at him and yeah. causes him problems. So, you know, we've just and it was a great little hand pass as well because he was under all sorts of pressure. The kick will be from Conor Feeling. It'll be right at the top of the D here off the ground. Feeling sets himself. We know he'd been carrying an injury, but he... He should have enough in the tank to kick this and this will be a huge score at this stage of the game. Drills this one high and it's gone to the wide. left of the post and wide. It's 188 points there, 14 and a half minutes gone in this second half. That's the kind of the one they wanted really. But Yeah, yeah, I, I was just going to say like it's a while since they've had a four point lead in this game. Kick will be from Sean Carroll again. Again, drives this one, gets a better connection. It goes long down the field, breaks in the middle of the field. Dan Nolan reads it well, gets the ball, tries to take it through the tackle of Ushin. Like, oh, oh, Ushin Keegan again. I thought he'd done well enough yeah, there. Yeah, he did. I thought he did really happy well. Happy to get a free there. Free is taken over as far as PJ Mulhall. Ockram protesting. He wasn't far enough away. It wasn't actually meant for him, but Dan Nolan now tries to lead the charge for Shalala Coolboy. Gets the ball inside. There's danger here. There's a good tackle put in, but uh, the wing back Finlay Nolan gets this one and drops good it score. into the top of the net it's a really good score but a good tackle there in the Ockram defence because if he'd have got another step he was through on goal yeah he could have but that was a real good score by Finlay Nolan it brings it back to a two point game again that's a big swing from the miss free as well like it's 1-8 to 9 yeah. now it could have been a four point game it's now a two point game here in Ockram kick out will be from Robert Lambert wind seems to have picked up slightly again long ball down the field looks for Lawler hand on it there from Cahill Murphy gets it as far as Eddie Cullen Cullen hand passes the ball back to Kieran Lambert Lambert on the move here Solos comes laterally across the field gets the ball 65 yards out from the town end pops it into Dan Nolan back as far as PJ Mulhall oh, Lambert continued his run he's in all sorts of space here takes in the ball Patrick Licardi comes back and just covers him off does well he needs support Lambert gets the ball in to Conor Byrne Byrne pops it back out as far as uh, uh, Kieran Lambert Lambert takes on his man gets the pass to Luke Dolan Dolan looks up steps inside there's a little tangle of legs there from Patrick yeah. Licardi that was it was more innocuous than yeah, anything else but yeah, it is a free yeah. all day long Wayne Kinsley will look for uh, Brendan Bean inside Brendan Bean looks to check inside his man comes back outside oh, again the defence does really well again it's Joe McGuckin and Ockram bottled up uh, boom boom there done really well ball is with Patrick Licardi it's a loose one the ball comes back in it'll be a free in oh just both teams here are <laughs> coughing up the ball too easily really yeah 16 and a half gone looks like Dean Newsom is going to enter the fray here for Ockram underneath his. it'll be a free for Cahill Murphy here to put just the minimum between the sides Murphy here well. oh looks a card for Sam Elliott ah, I didn't think it 
was more a reaction than a... Yeah. Another case of a lad going for a bad pass, really. Yeah, yeah. It's high, over. it's over the bar from Cahill Murphy. It's a one-point game here in Ockram. 1-8 to 10 points, 17 on the clock. Dean Newson comes in for Patrick Licardi here. Big shift for him by Patrick Licardi, particularly in that first half, Podge. He was very good. Yeah, the, the last play in the first half, he won a great interception to stop a Shillelagh Cold Boy score. Kick out will be from Robert Lambert. Lambert goes long underneath the stand this time. Huge ball off the hands of Shane McGuckian, taken in well over there by Dan Nolan. Again, he's picking up a lot of pieces is, around yeah, the middle yeah. of the field. He's winning a lot of breaks, in fairness to him. It's going to be moved up. Something was said or something was done and it's going to be moved up by Stephen Fagan here. We can't hear that. But there's no one doing any more arguing anyway. 18 minutes gone here. They've gone short inside. Shalala cool boy looking to be patient there. Ball is with Finley Nolan. And Nolan and gets it back to P. Jemel Hall. Looked like he was going to shoot, but not from there. Gets inside the 45. Checks back outside. Does really well. After him is uh, Joe McGuckey. Ball gets inside as far as Brendan Bean. Bean again. Two, three white jerseys around him. A heavy turn. Ball is back in the hands of Eddie Cullen. Cullen back out to P. J. Mulhall. Mulhall comes all the way back out as far as Jonathan Smith. Smith now gets the 45 yards out. He'll take a run to punch a hole here. Lovely little ball inside to Connor. Born Born looked for the mark, didn't get it, but ball has turned over and a free to deal. Not sure why there was no mark. Oh, I think he should have got the mark to be fair. Have a little look yeah. maybe. Have a little look, was he the inside maybe? Our cameraman Kieran says he was, so Connor Born is going to go into the Is he going into the book? I didn't see anything there that he should Our go into cameraman the room, is he? right. Our cameraman is right. Well done, Kieran. Yeah, Connor Byrne is picking up a card for picking, his troubles now. Picking up a card, mate, and I'm just guessing. What's the black card? Oh, that's a huge, ah, oh, that's a huge decision. In and 49 minutes gone on the clock. I think it's for a, a hand trip. Is what as far as what he's signalling oh, anyway. Oh, that's a huge decision. A huge decision on a young man. Yeah, in I'd say he probably felt hard done by the fact that he didn't get yeah, the mark, but yeah. which was the right decision. Well, yeah, which was the right decision yeah. to be fair. But they're down to 14 now. It's a, an uphill battle for Shalala Coolboy. Can the stem the tie? Dean Newsom drops deep and takes the ball 45 yards out. Pops a little pass off outside. Sam Healy comes up the field. Looks to get the ball to Dylan Mara. Oh, it's intercepted by BJ Malal. They're going to need leaders now. This Shalala Coolboy team. Brandon Rossiter is on the ball. Tries to get it away. He's gobbled up by. Again, I don't see a free there, lads. I'm sorry, but. Yeah, the Ockham players were standing over him and probably stopping him from playing the ball, but there's not a whole lot wrong with that, really. Shalala Coolboy come down the field again. It's Luke Dolan on the ball, pops it to Jonathan Smith. Good tackle there by Shane McGuckey and turns Smith back, but he holds possession really well and looks to cut back inside. Again, they're on it. Again, he's playing on an advantage here. It'll be a free. Cahill Murphy, will he fancy his chances here? Wayne Kinsley has the ball in hand. We have... We have nine and a half minutes of normal time to go. It's a one-point game. Yeah, a little, little, yeah, little tug of the arm, I'd agree with that. A little tug of the arm on Johnny Smith, was it? Finley Nolan has the ball now. Gets it out as far as PJ Mulhall. Mulhall gets down the field. This one cuts back inside. Gives it back to Nolan. Shalala cool boy looking to get scored. Oh, Nolan's done really well. Cuts inside. Fires this one high and That's fires great. it up. Another great score for Finley Nolan. He's got two today, he but there have been two massive scores. We're level in Ockram with nine minutes of normal time to go here. It's... Uh, Robert Lambert to take this kick out. There's a player free over underneath the stand. Is Finn Byrne, I think. I don't think he's seen him. Again, just Eddie Cullen now has dropped out to pick him up. Robert Lambert taking his time. It's probably not the time to do anything rash in the county final. Balls long down the field. Taken by Dylan Byrne. Byrne looks up and fires the ball into Alex Kavanagh. Kavanagh's out in front of Rory O'Brien here. Looks up and looks for Connell O'Brien. O'Brien takes the ball in. It's one on one inside. Looked like he was going to give it away. Ball hops away. Gets it into Joe McGuckey. McGuckey and steps inside his man. Sets himself. Takes a second and kicks the ball high and over the bar. He done really well, McGuckey and he could have snapped at that but he took a second podge set himself and it's a big score for Ockram a, a huge score for Ockram because if Conal O'Brien got the ball and he, and he turned right if he had a turned left he could have popped it to Alex Kavanagh running in on goal and then when Joe McGuckey and God he had a couple of pairs he could have passed it, but he took the shot on himself fairly cool of him and to kick the lead score 
Long ball down the field. O'Sheen Keegan, big fist. Connor Phelan picks it up. Ball is in the hands of Dean Newsom. Looks inside for Connell O'Brien. Here come Ockram again. This game has ebbed and flowed one way and the other. O'Brien solos. Pops a little pass back outside to Dean Newsom. He'll have to go to it. He does go to it. He gets it and he kicks it high and he kicks it over the bar. Another well worked score for Ockram. It's almost like it's end 10 for three or four minutes at a time. It's who's getting the scores. Ockram seem to be getting the scores when they get up the other end of the field. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. O'Sheen Keegan. Keegan did well in the kick out when Ockram picked up the ball I could see Alex Kavanagh telling them to kick it into Conal O'Brien and that's what he said he, you could see him point and kick it into him you know and I think that's the secret for Ockram now 22 and a half on the clock oh big collision underneath the ball there this time it squirts away Ockram tried to pick it up there as hell for letter probably was a touch on the ground they've taken it quickly it's well read though by Jimmy Wormington is it will he get there in time they just forced Brandon Rossiter to take the ball down into the no man's land in the corner there and the ball beats him away Wilmington probably done well there possibly yeah, because he if did, he committed that he would give away a free yeah he read it well and kind of um they are gone to ground down there. I don't think there's a lot in it. No, nah, there's not. No, if I was Jimmy Wellington now, I'd, I'd take this line ball and move the ball on. Stephen Fagan's going down to have a chat, all right, but... I think... Whether he's going to tell him just to get up and... I'm going to see if he's all right. I'd let the game just continue yeah, there. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd give him the signal yeah. to get up, you know. Yeah. I know all he's doing, he, he's allowing him now to get back into a defensive position. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, yeah. doing, he's stopping so, the game to give him a chance to recover. But anyway. It's low ball again in front of Joe McGuckey. A lot of work to get away here for Ockram. Hushin Keegan has the ball, gets it out as far as Robert Lambert. Lambert gives it to Finborn. Finborn has Keane Kyo outside him in a little bit of space. Pierce Lawler's in lots yeah. of space outside him. He opts not to go to him though. Lawler needs to go off his shoulder, does he? Gets the ball, cuts inside. Kyo still on it here, pops a pass away. It's loose. Oh, Sam Healy just done enough to get to it. It's worked out for them. It's Jimmy Wilmington on the ball. Now the space at the other end with Connor Phelan. Phelan looks up. Connell O'Brien is in acres of space over there Aaron Kinsley has dropped in O'Brien that's good play that's good forward play to take the mark in that position there he done I'm going to say it's cute play like yeah no real good play um, happy enough to take this oh it's gone away off his boot there I spoke too soon ball is still in play though Dean Newsom underneath oh Newsom does really well and sets himself and kicks this one high and kicks it over the bar Aaron Kinsley looks to be in a spa butter he's calling someone over from the sideline here I'm wondering has he picked up an injury? Yeah, there's definitely something going on because yeah. he's, he, he seems to be struggling with Conal O'Brien, particularly he, in the last couple of he minutes. He didn't even come out after no, him for that ball. He, he dropped back in as much to say... Yeah, he's looking for cover, I'd say, but look, they're yeah. man down, you see, that's the problem. I think he's calling for cover that was there in, in the first half, but it's not there now. They're going to have to push on here. They're three points down. It's Ockram 111. Shalala cool by 11 points. The Fitzgerald Kitchens Junior A Football Championship final is going to go right to the wire with five minutes of normal time plus injuries left. Sean Carroll has the ball at his feet. He's going to take a kick. Yeah, there's someone warming up here, is there, to come in for Shalala cool boy. It'll be number 23, no, Connor he, Clinton. He, he, he's stopping the game now because Sam Healy went down injured, right? The physio ran out to him and now he wants him to leave the field. But I, I, like, and the play didn't stop. But Brandon Rossiter, as we said, at Brandon, half time, he, yeah. he didn't have to leave the field. And then when he was off the field, he stopped the game to let him back on. Well, anyway, long ball down the field again. Comes off the hands in the middle. Ockram are starting to hover up those breaks now. It's O'Shea and Keegan. Keegan cuts forward with this one. Good play again by the number eight. He's under huge pressure, though. He'll need support. That support was at Pierce Lawler. Two men free on the far side now. They've lost their shape completely. Shalala called by here. Connor Phelan drills this one. Oh, it's gone to the left of the post and gone wide. Could have carried it further. He was in acres of space. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Ockram making real good use of the extra man. That's why they've got back into this game, really. You know, they were, what were they? Were they were, they were a point up yeah. when the black cards, you know, and, and but they're they're three up here now. Kieran Lambert comes out. He's put in a good shift. There's number 23. Connor Clinton answers right. Luke Dalton's on the ball though. He gets it out as far as Wayne Kinsley. Kinsley further out the field now. Gets the ball off to Johnny Smith. Kyo sizes him up down the line though. Smith does well. Again, Keane Kyo is another boy. Ham Smith still in possession. Ball is back out as far as uh, Brendan Bean. Bean gets the ball in. So it's just out of reach of Dan Nolan. Away up the field comes that man, John McGuckey. And again, he needs support. Pierce Lawler is the support. Alex Kavanagh points. Says, put it there. I get it. He does. Connell O'Brien. Waves says don't not 
not for the minute I'm watching it here where he's going to board is Joe McGookin gets the ball outside again Ockram recycle it through the hands it's with Shane McGookin he'll look for Dean Newsom. Newsom, two points has been very good since he came on ball is back out as far as Connor Phelan Phelan has a look up he'll need support up this line Ockram if they're to do Dean Newsom is back on the ball Shane McGookin is in space on the far side now they're going to look uh, PJ Mulhall has dropped back in uh, looks like uh, Aaron Kinsler has come out onto the 40 here maybe he wants to try and drive the team forward it's Joe McGuckin is fouled is he no play on says the referee the advantage is now with Shalala cold boy and away down the field comes Eddie Cullen gets the ball to Dan Nolan middle of the field has a look has a check he's pulled back no play on says the referee little nibble again from Dean Newsom ball is in the hands of Dave Brendan Green gets it back out to Dan Nolan Nolan on the move here looks to cut inside wants the goal gets inside is he pulled to the ground he is he ball he's free <laughs> he looked for it and he got it. He takes it quick. It's gone. It's dangerous. Oh, Robert Lambert somehow keeps it out. Ball breaks away. He play on, says the referee. Oh, that could have went anywhere. Get a look at that on the screen, Podge, because I don't know what happened there for a minute. Referee is calling it back in now. What is going on here? I'd like to know because he let play definitely go on for a minute. And now he's bringing it back in to give the free. Oh, strange. Huh? Can't take a 40 now. Well, someone should have stopped well, straight away. If it went in the net, what would have happened? Yeah, yeah. He what should, do you do then? Yeah, because he let play go on, so someone must have, someone must have uh, read the rule book out to him there on the minute. We're having a serious uh, blue bottle and wasp issue here at the minute as well, which is not helping things. But Cahill Murphy makes it a two-point game. About half a minute left until Conor Byrne can re-enter the fray. It's 1-11 to 12 points here. We're going to have three or four minutes of injury time, so we're looking at three and a half or four minutes to go here. Robert Lambert thought about taking a quick, thought the better of it. The kick, this possession is vital from this kick here now as when you see the stewards opening the gates in the top corner, you know it's getting near time. Conor Byrne comes back into the very long ball down the field, straight down on top of Dan Nolan, no one marking him. Nolan takes his mark. Steps forward, gives the ball out as far as Johnny Smith. Smith is on the move here now. Tries to be tackled, but good play from Smith. A hand in, he bombs this one high. It's gone away just to the right of the Boston wide. A chance gone a begging to put one in it. As we said, it's PJ Mulhall has gone back full back. It's Aaron Kinsler has came out now to try and bomb down the field. Connor Phelan has gone back to Robert Lambert to tell him where to put the ball. And Con he's Connor Bourne is back on the pitch now again. This ball, if you're look, if you're Robert Lambert here now, this ball has to go down on top of, yeah. yeah that's that's leadership from Connor Phelan because he said, stick it down on top of the three ball winners with three minutes of injury time, but they still haven't won it. Ball breaks away. It's Shalala Cold Boy. Luke Dolan is on the ball with four minutes. Sorry, I'm being told now. It's Dan Nolan on the ball. Gets the ball back as far as Wayne Kinsler. Kinsler breaks the tackle. Goes long. Dangerous ball inside. Referee doesn't blow for that one. Cahill Murphy went to ground. He's gone into the umpire. He's not happy. The ball has gone away and gone wide. It'll take another half a minute out of the clock. The breeze has picked up yeah, again. Yeah, really Marsh. has picked up, yeah. It's a two-point game here. Ockram are just about hanging on. Shalala Coolboy have another couple of minutes to come at them. Anything could happen. If I'm yeah. Shalala cool boy, I'd still be looking to score a point here. Yeah, though. would you? Yeah. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't I be going all out for goals. Like On that last chance that Dan Nolan got, he did have a chance to put it over the bar, yeah. but he was going for goal. Without Long a shadow of a doubt, he was going for goal. It could have been caught, but it's boxed away. As far as Johnny Smith, Smith picks it up. Hushing Keegan over underneath the stand. Gets it, Connor Feel and gets back to get a hand in. It's Finley Nolan is back on the ball. Great numbers from Ockram. It's Pierce Lawler comes away with the ball. Long ball looking for Dean Newsom. Alex Cavan has been turned to made a run inside. Newsom is away up the field that's tackled and fouled by Aaron Kinsley that's a big moment Podge a big moment in the game yeah, yeah. it is and right I, can, I know Aaron Kinsley was doing there he mm. couldn't let Dean Newsom get away on him because Alex Havanagh had run was off gone. as well yeah. he was gone now he's going to pick up a card I, for me it's not a black it's only is it yeah, yeah, it's a it's yellow. yellow. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's well, uh, to be fair, you're yeah. probably saying like you've you've gave Ockram the chance to take him in how the game here. But yes. Alex Kavanaugh was gone. The game could, could, could have been yeah. game over. Yeah, otherwise, I, I, you know. I, I think so. I, yeah, I think, think he so. probably done the right thing on the balance of because of it, 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 this would be some point of Conor Field and kicks it from yeah. here really into that win because it has it's picked up now. It's as strong as it has been throughout the game you know a minute and a half into the four minutes of injury time Jack Byrne is going to come on to the field 
Is Connor Phelan sizes this one up? Has he got it in the legs? Has he got it in the accuracy? It's hard. Oh, it's gone off the top of the post and wide. That was a chance to put three back in it. It's a kick out for Shalala Coldboy with two minutes of injury time left. 1 11 Hockram, 12 points Shalala Coldboy. Oh, the kick has gone over the head of Dan Nolan. He's won them all day long. It just was overcooked. It's out as far as Pierce Lawler. Lawler pops the ball off as far as Connor Phelan. Phelan hand passes it out and says to Connell O'Brien, go get that and make sure and hold on to it. He does. He takes on PJ Mulhall. Mulhall does well. He was strong in the tackle. Ball is back out as far as Pierce Lawler. Lawler gets it and gives it back to Connor Phelan. They had looked to play around with it on the far side it's Joe McGuckey and is out there there's a sub coming on uh, Jimmy Wilmington gone off Jack Byrne is in man wearing the blue and yellow nicks he mustn't have got the text about the wear Ockram gear today but it's back out and it's into the hands of O'Shane Keegan Keegan on the ball gets it out as far as uh, Pierce Lawler Lawler plays a little one two with Connor Phelan they're just trying to take the life out of the clock here now Phelan puts on the afterburners takes on Rory O'Brien gets it back out to Alex Kavanagh oh Kavanagh does well gets it back to J- Dean Newsom right at the top of the day Newsom kicks this one high and kicks it over the bar it's Ockram 1-12 it's Shalala Cole by 12 points a big score for Ockram but a really well worked score yeah it surely was that's three in a row now from Dean Newsom since he came on in a what, three point game uh, and what an impact he is after having but o- Ockram were so good there minding that ball for over a minute until they got the shooting chance PJ Mulhall comes down the field the ball he gives it to Luke Dolan Dolan on the move here gets the ball out as far as Brandon Rossiter Rossiter fires a little ball down the line looking for uh, Brendan Bean Bean fires it across it's dangerous it's in the square oh it's broke outside chance shot off the line somehow why Ockram they're calling for penalties and everything if they went in they wouldn't have won the game stopped away comes Ian Clancy with the ball gets it to Dean Newsom again Newsom cuts back inside does really well again he's dispossessed by Kyle Murphy anywhere will do here Joe McGuckian is swamped by players players going to ground on either side Finn Byrne has it gets it to Dean Newsom Newsom takes a heavy shot but takes it well gets the ball across the top of his D and out as far as Connor Phelan Phelan gets to it first Wayne Kinsley tries to Turn him feeling does well, just throws a loose bow and it's all over. Akram have won the Junior A Football Championship for 2024 by three points. A massive win for the men from the Granite Town. Heartbreak for Shalala Cole by the second time in a row. But what a win that is for Akram. It looked like they were coming to turn into the breeze. The three points wasn't enough. Three or four points wasn't enough, but it was. There's a player down in a little bit of distress here. Yeah, that was from the last goal chance, like in. Yeah. And, and uh, they're out on their feet both sets of players Dean, Dean Kios, who it is um, but what a chance Shalil Kulboy had at the end and how the ball didn't end up in the net like that was a couple of those you know um, like uh, massive performances like from a couple of different players you know um, like like you know it, it, it's like Finley Nolan like really got back got Shalala Kulboy back into this game in the second half the black car probably had a big impact it gave Ockram a chance to kind of build up that two or three point lead but you know uh, my heart goes out to Shalala Kulboy they had a couple of goal chances there near the end and just couldn't take them you know like and they had a couple of warriors for uh, a Shalala Kulboy Johnny Smith got more and more into the game but his battle with Keane Kyo was massive so it was you know it's I know Shalala Kulboy would be very very disappointed you know but um, Ockram, like there's so many warriors there today, you know. Oshin Keegan's name was mentioned so many times. Joe McGookian had a brilliant game. Conal O'Brien was really dangerous. Alex Kavanagh was. Dean Newsom comes Kevin, off the bench. Yeah. It's three points in a three-point three game. Three points, you know. Pierce Lawler, like he was the one when they needed to win the ball around the place. Conor Phelan had a good performance, you know. Um, but it was, it was a, a game that could have went anyway, really, you know. Um, but yeah, a, a massive win for Ockram, really, and they'll be over the moon, so they will. Yeah, and look, I mean, we talk about fines, we talk about two teams turning up. The two teams for me turned up, Hodge. Yeah, they did. They did without a shadow of a doubt, you know. Um, like, I know there was three points in it at the end, like, but it, it felt like it was a one-point game. It was, yeah. I know it was a one-score game, but that's what it felt like. It felt like a one-score game, all right. Yeah, as the supporters from both sides... Uh, Come down and go down onto the pitch there. As I said, it's heartbreak for Shalala Coldboy two years in a row now. It's devastating for a team, a club trying to get back up into intermediate. You know, they'll be back. They have a lot of good young players coming through, but this is a, 
a massive, massive moment for the Ockram men as well. This time last year, they were in relegation trouble. Yeah. There was all sorts going on. It looked like there was a club in real bother, but they've turned it around. They've won their uh, Junior A Football Championship. They'll be playing intermediate next year. Uh, what a game we've had in this first one. It's not finished there, though. We're going to have Carnew and Hollywood in the Darcy Sands Intermediate Football Final coming up next. We're going to take a quick break here to try and catch our breath for a few minutes. The mics will be on. You'll hear the presentation live on the mics, so uh, make sure and stay tuned in. But a massive, massive win for Ockram here. It's 1-12 to 12 points. They are going to be playing intermediate football uh, next year, and it's heartbreak for Shalala Coolboy, but they will be back. Thanks for tuning in. Don't go anywhere, and make sure and tune in to the intermediate. Another cracking game in store. In the heart of the Garden County, where the hills meet the sky, we gather in our colors with our heads held high. From off from sacred ground to the fields where legends play, we carry dreams of glory and the way it go. The titles of you We've tasted sweet victories And we've felt the blues From Ray to Kanye With every match we fight We go GAA Our heart and soul Through every rise of every ball With courage and pride We stand as one In the game we love Our journeys become From earth to football We give our all We go GAA We'll answer call Cheering. In our hearts we feel the fire Together as a family We'll rise and never tire With every kick and every score Our spirits soar so high For the love of the game We'll reach for the sky We'll go GAA Our heart and soul Through every rise and every fall With courage and pride We stand this one In the game we love Our journeys we come from Earth to football We we'll give our all Go GA, we'll answer call. So here's to our players and the dreams yet to come. With Wicko GAA, we'll always be one. In the heart of our county, where the spirit runs free. Together we'll conquer in unity. In the heart of the Garden County, where the hills meet the sky, we gather in our colors with our heads held high. From off from sacred ground to the fields where legends play, we carry dreams of glory and the way it go away. We go GAA, our heart and soul, through every rise and every fall. With courage and pride, we stand as one. In the cave, we love our journeys begun from Earth to football. We give
I'd like to start by thanking Shalala Kuboi for such a great game, you know. They had us to our follow for the whole game and I find in these kind of games the break of a ball in your favour or a single play can be the difference and today it went in our favour. So round of applause for Shalala Kuboi. <laughs> Next I'd like to thank everyone within the club, you know. There's too many people to name, but you know who is there. The volunteers, the committee members, the people who fundraise for the club. The club wouldn't exist without you, lads, and it's really fucking appreciated. It's why we're here today. Next, I'd like to thank the players themselves, lads. You know, it's been a long year. Lads have made sacrifices, and, you know, two players I want to give a special mention to today is down to injury and illness, they probably didn't get to play the part they wanted today, but I'd like to give a special thank you to Conor Lambert and all Foresight. We wouldn't be here without you lads, we wouldn't be here. Next I'd like to thank the management lads, uh, Kevin Morris, Paul Connolly, uh, Tommy Foresight and Andy Holt, you know, they, they put their heart and soul into this team this year. And, I know it's not easy for Kev driving up from Gory, leaving a, a young child at home and then having to come up twice a, year, uh, twice a week and listen to the likes of Sean Campbell, but uh, fuck it, we really appreciate Kev and uh, fair play. <laughs> and lastly lads, I'd like to thank the supporters, you know everyone that came out here today, um, especially the ones that have been following us around for the last 10 years, you know, it's been a dry out spell, but I firmly believe we have a great underage teams coming up and this is the start of a positive swing, an upward trajectory for the club lads. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's just one more small presentation to make and it's the John McGee Memorial Man of the Match Award. And it's going to be presented today by his grandson, Connor, here. And today's man of the match, Joe McGuckin. <laughs> 